already. They tripping already. Who said that? Reflection. Most of our reflections. Peace to the gods and goddesses of the planet Kai. What's up, reflections? I see you. Planet Kai, we in here reflection, doors is open, live lecture. You seen the title, so you know what's going on. You see the title reflections, so you know what's going on. Let y'all get on up in here. Let y'all get on up in here. I know some motherfuckers been came and left like, man, got on that bullshit. There you go. But it really don't be me like, like I'm telling y'all, they be making it hard for me to go live. They really do. Y'all get on up in here, 190. Please smash that like button, y'all coming up in here. Please smash the like button. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Bless you, supreme reflection. And I miss y'all. What's going on over here? YouTube, what it do? We got the da 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 What's the motherfucking D O double G Snoop Dogg? You gotta make our own introduction music on this bitch, you feel me? Cause they won't let us do nothing no more. Y'all hear me? And y'all probably like, damn, God kinda steamy. Is it the red? Y'all think it's the red, don't y'all? Somebody probably like, it gotta be the red. He ain't, these are my workout shorts, y'all know I work out. I work out in my workout shorts. My workout outfit ain't gonna change. So if you see me in my shorts, that mean I worked out today. Be proud of me, reflection. That's what that means. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't got nothing to do with that. I am not in my root chakra. I am just in chaos energy with the world, y'all. I'm going to explain it. I'm not just going to... Y'all know how I be, man. You know, if you know me, you know. We've been, we've been in this now. You've been rocking with me since last year. You've been in here. Y'all know, all right? If I come in like this, I come for a reason. I'm not... I don't... I don't be on no bullshit, man. I, that ain't who I am. That ain't what I represent. All right? Now, if y'all was just on Instagram, for those of you who's on IG, just seen me go the fuck off. All right? I went the fuck off because motherfuckers be fucking with me. All right? And, and right now, I'm giving y'all a chance to get on up in here. We ain't really opened the doors yet because you know. I got to roll up. Oh, yeah. Hey. Can you please go grab that by hustle preneur, that that tray, the hustle preneur tray? It up, it's upstairs. Yeah, it's upstairs. It's upstairs. You know where all the stuff at, right? Yeah. Matter of fact, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do the uh. Do the um. Bring me the the uh, the infamous money mob. I supposed to did. I supposed to did God's. Yeah. Yeah, the infamous money mom. What's up? Yeah, y'all get up in here, man. You know I'm gonna talk to y'all while y'all coming in here. You know what I'm saying? You said what, man? Both. Nah, just just that one. Oh, 
I apologize. Bring me the white, bring the white shirt. Okay, the shirt. Yeah. I'm too hot to put anything on right now. So I ain't gonna be able to put the shirt on. I'm gonna show the shirt though. It's gonna be you gonna see the shirt. You gonna know who it is. You gonna know how we how do we know what they represent. Black owned business, supreme reflections. Y'all come up in here. I miss y'all. Grand rising, grand rising, y'all. Grand rising, man. Please don't let my chaotic energy make you think I'm not focused here. Listen, this. My bad, y'all. We there, we there, we there, we there, we there. They, 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 they did that though. YouTube, y'all. Thank you. You see, damn YouTube just did us dirty. Y'all seen that? They kicked me out, y'all. YouTube just did that. YouTube, come on, YouTube. Wow, that's what y'all on. We ain't even got rolling yet. We haven't even got rolling yet, YouTube. Y'all see it? Y'all see it, y'all? This way, I got to come to the website. The website is www.theuci.online. Classes start tomorrow. Y'all see YouTube kicking me out? Y'all just seen that, right? Okay, ain't no reason for y'all not to come to the website. And a lot of y'all already signed up. But it's a lot of members, though. Hell no, it's like them a thousand members. Only like 200 people have signed up for the actual live. Look, members, y'all need to sign up. $33, man. For real. Y'all see, I can't even get rolling into the goddamn lecture. They about to spin my energy before I can even, you know what I'm saying? Before I can even attack what I'm here to attack. Do you see the Matrix? Before I can even attack what I'm here to attack today, y'all, they want to do that and try to get me on their ass. So you know what? I'm going to transmute that energy and I'm not going to attack YouTube because that's what they want me to do. I'm going to stay focused on the topic, okay? We got to stay strong right now, y'all. We got to be strong. We got to be strong like this gas I'm about to roll up. Strong like me. You hear me? What? Oh, okay. I, I thought I I thought I read that wrong. You know what I'm saying? I read that comment wrong to the motherfucker. I'm, I'm glad I, I doubled. I'm glad I double whammed. I was finna go in. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, okay. I read that wrong. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes it be yourself. Reflection. Well, you got to check yourself. See, I had to check myself. I'm just being an example. I'm leading by example. So it's no reason for y'all not to check yourself out there when y'all wrong. I had to just check myself. I was tripping. I read the comment wrong. I was finna go off. I'm like, what? Oh, okay. I read that wrong. Y'all see me? Yeah, I was finna go off. You hear me? It's chaos energy because I'm I'm here on a mission to wake the planet up and motherfuckers want to fuck with the God, y'all. That's all it is. I'm just talking, y'all. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just talking. I'm not out here going to nobody's house. I'm not out here bothering nobody. You feel me? But motherfuckers want to come at me. So when y'all seeing me in this frequency, it's not that I'm not focused. I'm just saying I'm fighting, y'all. It's a spiritual war that I'm fighting right now, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers all in my ear telling me what I better not make videos about, what I can and can't say. Come on, G. Like, come on, y'all. That ain't even going to fly like that. You feel me? So, you know me. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to speak on whatever, nigga. That's me. They always been me. You feel me? You ain't going to take that up out of my soul. You hear me? Like, you feel me? Because I'm going to let you say whatever you want to say. If I don't agree, I don't agree. So I don't understand why the world's so touched by me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just one, one God, one, one God on the planet just speaking his, speaking his mind and telling his people about this, this true esoteric facts. Telling them about the cosmic greatness they come from. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. But for some reason, you know, everybody want to feel all hot in the chest. You know what I'm saying? If what I'm saying is like, you know what I'm saying? Instagram want to get all hot in the chest, block a nigga. Facebook, Zuckerberg, you know, he getting all hot in his chest. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm talking about his family, the reptilians. You know, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like type shit, you know, you know, you know, muff my own, my own species. Niggas getting hot in their chest because they, they don't want to accept that Jesus is not real. You know what I'm saying? My family getting hot in HS, certain family, well, majority, not all, but majority of my family, you know, I can't even come to family reunions, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm barred, y'all. Then my family told me, like, nigga, you barred from reunion. Don't even pull up, nigga. Don't even pull up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Don't even pull up, nigga. You ain't family. So, you know, you know, everybody hot in HS. 
If, if, if what I'm saying is a lie, why can't I just be the crazy guy lying? Why does a lie rattle so many people on this planet? The CIA, they want to email they all in their chest, want to watch them. I'm all out of town, y'all. They, they trying to have motherfuckers watch it like, I don't know. They can't do nothing but watch because I ain't doing nothing. You see what I'm saying? But they, everywhere I go, they just so happen to be there. I'm watching their ass. Those who was on Instagram in my story, I was with my little West Coast voyage. I'm going to post it on YouTube. Y'all seen them follow everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere I went, they just there. You know what I'm saying? They just there. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, like I don't know they watching me. Why y'all watching me? I'm just the crazy guy. You see what I'm saying? That's what everybody says about me in this channel. Like, we just the crazy motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying crystals is magic. This magic and, you know, you can activate these and you can, you know, you can open my curbers and portals. I'm just the crazy guy talking. So why is the crazy guy bothering so many people? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to put the truth out about what's going on with King Von because, you know, it, it was bothering my soul to get the video out for one. And for two, it was highly requested. Y'all kept hitting me up. Like, man, you know, can you tap on this? Man, Lil Tim, just get out, man. Like, come on, man. What that mean? Come on, God, just say something. You know, I'm like, listen, I'm going to make one video on it. And I'm going to go in on the video. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to break down, you know, how he clearly sacrificed King Von. You feel me? And if once I break that down, that should completely let you understand not just what, what he did to Von, but how the music industry works in general. And I'm doing this one not just for my species, but for the youth, though. Really for the youth. Like, for those who are, like, kids listening to this and you being misled. That's why I was so hot on IG because I remember being a shorty and I listened to 50 Cent. And I was listening to them niggas. You know what I'm saying? And them niggas was inspiring me to pick up and guns and do shit. That's just like, I remember I used to pop X. When X first came out, I popped. Like, my throat chakra were open. One thing about me, I ain't gonna never lie to y'all or hide who I am to y'all. That's why motherfuckers would be like, man, calm down. Why are you so amped up? I'm not going to always be amped up. But when I am amped up, you're going to have to accept that part of me too. Because that's all a part of me. If I'm amped up, it's for a righteous motherfucking cause. You feel me? But like, I ain't going to never like this, like lie about who I am. Like, I didn't pop ecstasy before. I was like strung out off that shit like 04, I mean like 05, 06, 07. Like when that shit first hit Chicago, I was off that shit. You know what I'm saying? When that shit like $25 a pill, I was off that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was doing all that shit. So, and I was doing it because I heard Lil Wayne rapping. You see what I'm saying? I heard, back then, I wouldn't admit it. You feel me? But it was because Wayne, though. You know, Wayne was rapping about X, popping pills. Wayne, Wayne was rapping about, like, doing the lean. So he made, now Gucci had me want to try lean. So when I went to Dallas, I tried lean. You know what I'm saying? But it always was rappers that influenced me. Just like when I was a little kid, I would have never picked up a gun in Chicago if I wasn't watching Menace in Society. When I was a little kid, my favorite person and my favorite villain was Old Dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to be like him at an, to an extent. You feel me? So look how that impacted my life. You see what I'm saying? I was doing shit like that, trying to be what i seen in movies, trying to be what I'm hearing on the music. Even when even some of my older music, I'm just super like low frequency with it because that's all I was living. I didn't understand the power of words. I didn't understand understand the power of spell casting then. Like I had my soul didn't remember that. Like if you've been in this university, I teach y'all that y'all souls. You feel me? I teach all y'all souls and spirits. You feel me? So if you already know that you're a soul and a spirit, then you can understand what I'm saying when I'm saying my soul ain't hadn't experienced that yet. You feel me? It didn't remember that. So, you know, now, after 2021, what I tell all the rappers, like, hey, still rap y'all trap shit, because that, that ain't nothing wrong with the trap shit. Y'all selling drugs, motherfucker got to hustle, get their money. It is what it is. But, like, with the violence, we need to turn the op music to motherfucking, well, we still rap about the ops and all that shit. Like, y'all still have y'all guns in y'all videos. Like, keep the same energy, like, to the youth. Right? Keep that same high frequency energy. Because see, I'm older than y'all. Now, I'm too young for like the OG of them. I'm like a kid today, like, yeah, a little name. But to y'all, I'm like an OG to y'all. So, but and I understand y'all. You see what I'm saying? Because I was like that before. So, I don't turn my back on y'all and be like, oh, fuck the shorties. Like, most older people do. They, they forget how it's like when they was teenagers. Like, I never forget being a teenager. You see what I'm saying? So, like, that's why I'm telling y'all, like, 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 because y'all in the university. I'm not talking to motherfuckers not in the university. Now, if people that ain't in the university happen to jump in here, well, that's more people coming. But I originally started this conversation on Instagram. 
and I was talking to the youth that's in the university. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I care about y'all. Like, that's not down in this not down in dirt. What I'm finna say tonight. This not down in nobody. What I'm just finna say is pure right facts. And you know what I'm saying? If a person feel away after that, then it's whatever. You feel me? Like. With whoever, nigga, like, ain't nobody finna tell me what I can and can't say. If what I'm saying is a lie, then just take it and say, oh, he lying and go about your day. You see what I'm saying? Why, if I'm lying, why they gotta come with threats and shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. I'm gonna say what the fuck I gotta say, family, period, with anybody, you hear me? So, but this really for the youth, so y'all can know before we roll into the lesson. Like, I'm exact when I talk. Hear me? A lot of times when I talk, I be talking to like the goddesses. Sometimes I'm just talking straight to the goddesses. Sometimes I'm talking just to the elderly. Sometimes I'm talking to my peers. Tonight I'm really talking to the youth. So if you an elderly, you can still sit in here because it's still a, a cosmic lesson in this. You see what I'm saying? Everything I'm teaching is a cosmic lesson because this is all frequency. That's why I that's why YouTube just had kicked our ass out a minute ago. <laughs> you feel me? We ain't even got rolling yet. You know what I'm saying? Because of frequency. They know I'm finna expose a lot of shit right now. You know what I'm saying? And what I'm finna expose to you is shit that you already know. I'm not, I'm telling y'all the shit y'all already know. Y'all hitting me like, hey man, you should make a video about this. You should talk about this. Like over hitting me. So, <clears throat> we in here now. I'm gonna start with first by saying, peace to the gods and goddesses of the planet Kai. Peace meaning positive energy always creates elevation. Peace to the elderly, those who are 60 and older in our university. We love you, appreciate the energy. Peace to the peers, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s in the universe in this university. Love understand you. The deepest, which nothing but divine insight. You hear me? To the youth. This one for y'all tonight. You hear me? Cause y'all the ones who really lost in in this in this in this in this in this sauce, you know what I'm saying? Of this of this music. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? This this weapon is aimed at child minds to keep the violence going in the streets. And if we could kill that violence in the streets, that'll be a huge battle in the community of what we need to do as a species. You feel me? So just understand everything that's being said on all levels. You know what I'm saying? Come in here with an open mind tonight. If not, your ass will get moderated out this bitch. You feel me? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Um and definitely, if this is your first time in university, welcome to the university. You know what I'm saying? Um, we don't support racism, sexism, none of that. I'm going to tell y'all, just like I tell these human beings, when I tell they ass how human beings are not from this planet and they were created by black people, that's a fact. And human beings get mad and they want to report the page and say I'm racist. Listen, <clears throat> I'm telling y'all tonight what I'm going to say about y'all favorite rapper, Joe. Don't, don't get in this comments on no oh, I'm hating on him or I'm clout chasing. This is my motherfucking channel. I ain't clout chasing shit. I already got subscribers and we're doing viewers and I, I'm, I'm talking real shit. And what's going on with, with this sacrifice plays a frequency impact on what's going on on the planet. So let me just get that disclaimer disclosed right motherfucking now. You know what I'm saying? For anybody just now getting in here because you seeing that title and it's your first time in this motherfucker. Don't get this shit misconstrued. You hear me? We, we do this. We in here. All right. So before we get going, like I always told y'all, I support I support all black owned businesses, God owned businesses, whether you black or Latino. Only businesses I'm not supporting or promoting is, is, is human beings. And that's not racism, because if you're a human being, you can sit on my channel and watch you can watch my videos. I got white friends and shit like that. Like we could be cool, but I'm not spending. No, I'm trying to get away from spending money with y'all. Y'all y'all have taken all our money. Y'all got enough for y'all. This for me and my people. You know what I'm saying? So for my people that need, you know what I'm saying? They promotion. Don't come on my channel with our little. We only got. 9,000 subscribers, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got no million, so don't come on our little channel and try to get no motherfucking, don't try to get in our sauce, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all be in the comments too, white people like, you're racist. How, nigga, why is you on this, in this university? There's only 9,000 subscribers. We can't have shit, nigga. We can't have this. Like, y'all got the world, nigga. Y'all that took the whole world. You know what I'm saying? We can't have this little, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker coming my shit telling me about my shit. Nigga, this is my shit. You know what I'm saying? This is our shit. You know what I'm saying? For the gods and goddesses. You know what I'm saying? We only 9,000 subscribers strong on here. You hear me? Go fuck with somebody with a million subscribers. You know what I'm saying? I don't, that's what I don't get. I don't even have a lot of subs. Y'all fucking with my life. But y'all ain't fucking with nobody with me. But I know what it is. I already know what it is. Y'all know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know. God talk. It's real God talk. That's what it is, y'all. We ain't even mad at them. We, we, we're, we're high frequency. All right? But look, I support all the gods and goddesses. So... You know what I'm saying? Let me shout out Influence Your Money Mob, right? 
this influential money mob and like real talk i really like i really like his his i really like his 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 merchandise you feel me and i want y'all to see this y'all go support him he in chicago he out of chicago y'all follow him he on ig he on instagram influential money mob you hear me and he got good clothing though like it's good material and everything and he, he sent me a hoodie too like and i'm really gonna wear it it's just tonight i'm you feel me because of the subject but what i am gonna do if i could hang it up i would i'm gonna have it sitting right here though the whole time matter of fact i'm gonna sit it on my lap because y'all gonna see it throughout the video because that's what i promised them you feel me like if you got a brand i'm gonna do that and some more people send me stuff i got y'all in y'all next live y'all in the next live i do but yeah if y'all got y'all own businesses man go look y'all see him doing it he doing it he doing it he doing it he got 400 people on here checking his brand out you hear me you know what i'm saying he doing it you feel me he could do it you could do it i could do it you could do it we could do it we don't need this system See, don't the idea is to get away from the system. You hear me? It don't matter if he sell only two of these a month. He's getting away from the system. He can pass this down to his kids. We need to separate completely from the system. That's why I got my own website. All right, that's what I'm telling y'all. Come to the website. You, you ain't, we ain't gonna be getting kicked off like they doing over here. You all right? The UCI.online. Y'all got your own businesses? Go put y'all energy into y'all business. You hear me? Before we get rolling, rolling, put y'all energy into y'all business. All right, that same energy that you putting into their business, put it into your shit. That's all I'm saying. Ain't nothing wrong with working. I'm just saying work for you. So can't a motherfucker say when they gonna fire you like they did when Corona hit. Now this, now before Corona, cool. I wouldn't say nothing. After after Corona, you see they fired y'all. Fuck their jobs. Start y'all own shit. Influential you money mob you hear me start y'all own shit we are influential money mob you hear me we gonna get this money but we ain't gonna forget who we is that's where real of a rich come in at but we got we gonna we gonna conquer this third density and get to that bag because that's how you get the freedom to to, to practice more on yourself you know what i'm saying it's levels of mastery but we gotta branch away from that y'all all right so we in here y'all you know what i'm saying shout out to influential money mob man Hopefully that inspires you to, you know, believe in yourself instead of believing in the check they're going to give you every two weeks. That still ain't guaranteed because at any moment they can downsize and your ass won't have a job. And they go, I don't care if now that go for even if your ass a human being, if your ass a poor white person, they shit on y'all too. So y'all also need to be motherfucking starting y'all on shit. For all my poor white people, if you watch from our poor human beings, you know, I fuck with y'all because y'all be humble. You know, the rich ones, you can't tell them shit. But the poor, them poor white people, start y'all own shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Start y'all own shit. They don't give a fuck about y'all neither. Y'all the bottom of the barrel human beings. They don't give two fucks. You see they, you see they left y'all ass down here with us? Hey, all my poor white people, they don't give a fuck about you neither. You better do what your forefathers did. They was helping our ass get away in the Underground Railroad, nigga. We was working together, nigga. Don't fall for that middle class poor shit. And if you middle class and you white, your ass still basically poor, nigga. They just gave a different word to make you feel better. And they give you a little more privilege than us gods to really make you feel better. But really, they don't give a fuck about you neither. Like Lord told you, she told you, you will never be royals. It is not in your blood. They left y'all ass down here with us. Don't y'all walk around us every day yet. So we need to be coming together. Fuck is wrong with y'all. Y'all think y'all doing something because y'all got a little, y'all get a little two-step because of that skin. But hey. They will lock y'all ass up still. They will put some cuffs on y'all ass now. I didn't seen white motherfuckers in jail. You hear me? I didn't seen white motherfuckers get their ass whooped in jail too by the police. But they be the poor white people. That's what I'm saying. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Just accept it. You're basically damn near black. You're basically black. You're almost black. You're not black, but you're almost black. You're, you're almost black. You're all right with me. I done seen y'all get y'all ass whooped in jail too. All right, by the police. Some, some white people, some white people, yeah, I done seen it. You're almost black, you're all right with me. I'm just saying, go ahead, come on over here, click up. You can never be a full God, you are a human being. Let's get that understood. And I love you, and you love us. We understand you, you understand us, all right? But you come on over here, we click up, we kick some ass. We kick some reptilian ass, some Pleiadian ass together. Right, we get this shit in order, man, because 
That's who it is that's behind all this shit. You know what I'm saying? But all right, let's talk about Lil Durk and King Von Sacrifice, man. First, let me start by saying, uh, happy transcendence. Because I don't say rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? My eye burn. I don't say rest in peace, reflection. Uh, for those of you who are in the university, you know why I don't say rest in peace. I don't say rest in peace because I'm an actual spirit, spiritual guru and I understand this matrix. And I, I came back to teach y'all and help y'all remember who, what y'all soul already know. So I know death isn't real. So just let me say happy transcendence to Davon Bennett and, you know, definitely send condolences to his family and his, his homies that really had real love for him and really people in his neighborhood, you know, because I'm not from his neighborhood. I didn't grow up with him. Let me say that to the people watching me. I didn't, you know, so I'm not going to do no lying on here. I didn't come here to lie tonight. We not lying about nothing. All right. But when I do say happy transcendence, you know, that's not disrespecting him at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just saying that his his soul is, you know, he left this physical where this physical is the lowest. This is where all the pain is in the physical. All right. Um, so we all know that uh, King Von was signed to Lil Durk. All right. He was signed to OTF. OTF, they got to, you know, they have a deal with, um, you know, Empire Records, basically. Um, that's what he has to label distributed through. All right. So, a lot of y'all so to see how the hell lived him out. See, that's how we got to this live. We doing this live right now because a lot I received over two thousand emails from y'all from you guys about um, feeling like Lil Dirk sacrificed King Von and what were my thoughts on it. And I have been refraining from making a live about it because I seen a lot of people doing it and I just felt like they was doing it for to clout chase off them. Like me, I'm like, nah, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when he first passed away, I made a video. You know what I'm saying? A little quick video. And I, and I let it be known then, like, you know, but I never made a video really going into super detail about like the sacrificing and why would he get sacrificed. And a lot of people don't know how the music industry work, you know, and you can you can you can find out if you even without even being around the music, you can find out if you pay attention and you do enough research. But with me being a person that's been around the music, you know, having people that's been around the music and 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 not just being around the music in the physical, you know. You know, I have friends that they have platinum hit records. You know, I ain't gonna say their name, but I got actual friends that got platinum hit records. You know what I'm saying? So, cause I don't want to bring no heat, nobody way. You know what I'm saying? I ain't name dropping nobody tonight, but King Von Lil Durk. That's all I'm talking about. And these Pleiadians and these reptilians. And I'm talking. I'm gonna talk. Man, you know, I'm gonna say Quando Rondo. I'm gonna mention Lil Tim. I'm gonna mention all of this stuff. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna help y'all understand why it's happening what's happening on a frequency base because if you notice King Von passed away months ago but it's still a strong energy behind his passing you know what I'm saying even with them giving y'all a reason you see how y'all waking up see the kundalini energy is rising in the community right so like a few years ago if they would have killed King Von like when they said him or they staged the whole thing all right but a few years ago if they would have killed King Von like that and then gave y'all a suspect on the news Y'all would have fell for that shit like y'all did with Nipsey Hussle. A lot of y'all fell for the Nipsey Hussle shit. Government killed Nipsey. Okay? For trying to keep, for trying to let you all know that you are gods. And teaching you how to eat like a god by eating electrical food. So he was trying to keep, keep Dr. Sebi work going. All right? That's the same reason they took Nick Cannon's sh while, um, on Wild Out Wednesday show when he said he was going to keep it going. All right? So we don't ever know who they is, though. We always say that. But who is they? You know, they is important for you to know who they is so you can understand that, yes, for those who don't believe that King Von was sacrificed, he was sacrificed. Reflection. All right. And the reason you don't believe he was sacrificed because you have no understanding of the not only the spiritual world. All right. But the physical world that you walk in every day. You are in the light cold lockdown. You have no background knowledge about the music industry and how it works behind the scenes at all. So me being a person with that intellect, I'm going to give you that today. Also, a lot of people who I've spoken about him, this, and like I say, I'm not disrespecting Queen Domain or what's her name? Guylen Hagen. I don't know neither one of them. But I do know Queen Domain is an official in the astral planes. I told a lot of people that to ask me about it. All right? Now, no, dis no disrespect to either one of them because it's not disrespecting them. But as far as being me being a spiritual advisor, spiritual guru, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I don't do no medium shit. Let's get that understood. Don't nobody hit me up after this video talking about can I contact their dead relative? I don't do none of that. 
And I'm going to explain why. All right? But as far as when it comes to Gala Hagen and Queen Domain, they can give, they, they were able to give, you know, insight on, on, on what they would say. Like I say, uh, when, when Queen Domain spoke about King Von Stu um, Soul being trapped in the studio, I ain't never held a conversation with that woman. I don't know her. I don't know that goddess, but I can tell you for a fact, I, I step into the astral realms. That's what I do. I, I travel the cosmos. I'm, I'm tapped in. You know what I'm saying? This is what I do. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't lying about that. So that's how I knew she was official. Because I've never held a conversation with Queen Domain, but I did know that and she knew that. You see what I'm saying? So I knew she only had the, she could only know that by going through certain doors. All right? Um, when they come to them, they not from Chicago. All right? That's what I want to say. They not from the city. And even if they is from the city, I'm from Chicago. All right? Not only am I from Chicago, I'm an ex gang member. All right? I used to be a gangster disciple. Okay, and I did time in jail. I fought a first degree attempt murder. I was a gang leader. I had the whole building for the gangster disciples in maximum security when I was in Cook County Jail in Chicago from 2012 to 2016. Anybody that was in Division One or Division Nine going could tell you that, right? So I, I was locked up with King Von, right? I was locked up with him, so I could tell you how he was in jail. I could tell you about bullpen incidents, running into him in jail. If you think I'm lying, go check my jail records. Go see the, what divisions I was in. Go go call to the streets. Hey, say some guy on YouTube, and they called me JG in jail. That's what they called me. Some guy on YouTube, he's saying that he da-da-da-da. Go ask. Just take your into the street. And I'm not saying that bragging. I'm just saying that so you can know. Don't let these crystals fool you. Don't let the fact that I'm enlightening my people make you think I'm a square. Because I'm not in the streets and I don't I don't partake in that low vibration energy by helping this matrix anymore. No. You know what I'm saying? We gonna talk real tonight. Alright? We gonna talk real tonight. Period. On all levels. You know what I'm saying? So that's what, let me give y'all my rundown for the new people on here that don't know who I am. And that's on the physical. And in the spiritual realm, my name is Divine Insight for that is the only word that can kind of grasp what I am. That you would understand on a third density level and I'm the supreme master teacher of the eighth universe I'm a gatekeeper in the astral realms that's who I am okay on the astral level so now you know me on the third density and you know the astral me and I am your reflection as well so I am you and you are me all right all right so let's start with the street side of shit I gotta add, we have to make it all make sense. All right. And we're gonna we gonna sum it all up and we're gonna break down why does this all even fucking matter. If you listening to this, because there's people in here that's super spiritual, so they, they might not know the street stuff. So they're like, why does this matter? Just listen. I promise it's gonna make sense. All right. So Davon Bennett, known as King Von in Chicago, his rap name. A lot of people don't know him from far as for making music, but people that's from Chicago, you know, we, we know why, you know, he was calling himself grandson and all that, right? So, and yeah, I'm about to roll on up. I am definitely am. You already know it, man. I'm not going to be telling, I'm not going to be breaking down no shit and telling no stories and not rolling up no gas. And if this your first time up in the university, this your first time in the university, shit, <laughs> welcome to the university. We rose up in this beach. You hear me? So, anyway, all right, so, Davon Bennett, known as King Von, right? Y'all know him for making music, Dirk artist, all right? He come out He come out of Chicago, South Side. Um, a lot of people think he originated out of Old Block, but he really don't. Um, he was over in Killer War, where it was GDs at, you know what I'm saying, at a point in time, which he admitted himself, and the streets will tell you that. And then he shifted over to Old Block, where he, you know, he made his name. Uh, I'm a little older than the shorty, so the shorties call it Old Block. You know, when I was coming up, we just called that shit the Wick. You know what I'm saying? We just called it was the Wick. They call it Old Block because one of their members was killed, and all the shorties start renaming their neighborhoods. Those of you not from Chicago who are watching... All the shorties in my city start renaming their neighborhoods. It became a trend to rename your neighborhood after whoever died in your on your block. So that's how all the cl all the clicks came from. But I'm a little little older than that. You know what I'm saying? So it was the Wick and Parkway Gardens when I was going through there and all that shit. You feel me? 
Cause I had a girlfriend over there named Keisha. I used to, we actually, we should live, I used to live over there with her for a little while. You know what I'm saying? 08, 09 summers, I was living over there with, with my girlfriend. All right? So, what they now call O Block. All right? So, me personally, I try to stay away from this street stuff because it's the old me. I don't like to bring that vibration into what, but we got we to gotta tie it together because it's spilling over into our community because you got shorties that's in our community, in our university, that listen to this music and they have, and they in the streets every day. And they, 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 it's, you know what I'm saying? This all affects them what's going on with them even being tied up with the energy. All right? So, King Von was in Old Block. I'm going to call it what it's now called because that's respect. I respect the shorties. They call it Old Block. That's what it is. Old Block. All right? So, King Von been over Old Block. He did his thing. <coughs> I'm not finna. Once again, I really come out the street. So, I'm not finna get on the motherfucking YouTube channel and get to going into no details about <coughs> no street shit that I heard that he did or none of that. If you came here for that, you on the wrong live. That ain't me. I'm, I'm really out the streets. We don't do that shit, fam. But whatever you heard on the internet, that's what you heard. You heard whatever. I'm going to just say this. He was in old block doing his thing. It led him to getting locked up. All right? <clears throat> so, a couple times. But eventually, he ended up getting locked up on the murder. I'm going to jump straight to what's going on. You know what I'm saying? He gets, he gets locked up on the murder along with another member that's famously known as really out the streets while was fighting the murder. It's also like a part of OTF, but he don't really rap, but he, he known in the streets. I ain't going to say his name neither because once again, real street nigga, you know what I'm saying? But the streets know who I'm talking about that was went down to had a murder. That, you know what I'm saying? Why Vaughn had a murder and they all OTF now was doing their thing. All right. You know what I'm saying? He come off out of 4-6, you know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> Vaughn get out. Now, now, hold on. Let me say this real quick. When King Vaughn was locked up, I was locked up. You know what I'm saying? I was in the county from 2012 to 2016. All right? So, if you know when he was locked up, you got to know I was, lock I was locked up during that time. Well, actually, yeah. Yeah, 20, yeah 2012. Well, actually, 2011, end of 2011, all the way through 2016. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> I was locked up with uh, Vaughn. Now, let me say this because I have to talk about, I'm going to talk about Dirk character a little bit and King Von character. You know what I'm saying? Th it matters. It's important. It's important. Because if you know that, you got to know why Dirk will want to even sacrifice King Von. So I'm giving you, I'm giving you reasons now. All right? I'm giving you reasons now. I was locked up with King Von. I was locked up with him. Our true story. This is a true story. I remember running into... We was in the bullpen. We was we was going to court. And I never forget this day. Anybody ever been in the jails? No, I'm not gonna lie. You in the streets, you've been in jail, you know. This day, I had a position for my mob, so I knew who was going to court. I would get the kites like I knew who, who went to court, who was on what deck, all that. You know what I'm saying? So I knew when we would have a number. So this day, it was like a lot of folks at court. A lot of so for people that don't know, you know. It matters. In jail, you got one love. So that's BDs, all the BDs, all the GDs, all the Breeze. Breeze, they say they try to flip flop, but I ain't never seen it. You know what I'm saying? Every time, every time I'm around the Breeze, they was on one love. All right, but yeah, it's, it was the GDs, the BDs, the Breeze, you know what I'm saying? The Latin folks, all right? That's one love. So I can look at that kite and be like, yeah. Oh, okay. All the one love at court today. We got the numbers. I can look at that same kite and be like, damn, today shit, all the Finballs gonna be at court. You know what I'm saying? They gonna have the numbers. So this particular day, all the one love, we was at court, we had the numbers. And I'll never forget, we walk in the bullpen and one of the GDs, right? That, I forgot what folks was from. Damn, I forgot where he was from. But I'm not from out south. I'm from 1100. So that's like the north side of Chicago. That's like a Brittany Green area. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in that area. So we don't got no BDs and we war with each other in the Latino gangs. You see what I'm saying? So when I'm in jail, I couldn't understand why the GDs and BDs wasn't getting along, but the BDs still had to do one love, but they didn't fuck with the GDs. Mostly them out south because they had this war going on in the streets. 
So I'm saying that to say because it matter. We walk in a bullpen, King Von BD, so it's supposed to be one love. But we walk in a bullpen, one of the GDs that's on count has some street beef with King Von. Because the GDs and BDs be at war. And I ain't going to say folks name. You know what I'm saying? So when Von seen him, he stood up, right? To the bullpen. He stood up. It was only like, he, he was sitting like three other niggas, right? And when he seen folks, he stood up. Even though, even though it was more of us than them, right? He didn't know if we was going to flood them, roll them, none of that. We could have did all that. But he wasn't, he wasn't scared, though. He was ready, you know what I'm saying, to, to go... Okay, if that's what, even though his homies that was with him, they wasn't, they wasn't. He stood up. And then I was like, me and another one of the big guys, I ain't going to say his name, older than me. You know what I'm saying? We're like, hell no, nah, it's one little, y'all squash that shit. You know what I'm saying? Da, da, da. So, in that one occasion, that's my only one occasion that I had in jail with King Von. Let me say that right now. now it don't take a lot. Now, I knew what decks he was on and all that because he kept his same, Von, you that same name. You know, I was in there with Rondo number nine and them came in and all that. And for those who's in the streets, I just said the years I was in jail. So, you know, I'm not lying. Like, okay, if he was in the county at that time, Lil J and them came. I was in there when all them came, when all them was coming in. P -Re all them was coming in. I was locked up during that time. All right. So, I said it to say this. Also, me hearing what he was doing through kites. Like, oh, man, they over there doing that on that deck. So, I knew he wasn't no bitch. Also, when I was in the bullpool on that day, we could have rolled them and Vaughn came. Vaughn wasn't scared. He wasn't scared. This is a fact. So that's shit. Now you combine that with what other things you might hear about him and this and that. I can't vouch for all that. I wasn't around for all that. I don't know about none of that. But I do know the energy I got off when I was around him and what I seen from the he yeah, he really wasn't no bitch. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't scared of shit. That's real. That ain't fake. Now, why does that matter? Because that's not who Lil Dirk is. That's not who Lil Dirk is. Lil Dirk is the is the complete opposite. But Dirk is the Dirk is the complete opposite man of that. Von a real, he was a real, you know, because I, I come from that cloth. You know what I'm saying? I got stabbed up eight times in the county because I, I I'm fighting a nigga with a with a knife. Anybody that was in the, I, you still see the like I say I got the stab wounds all in my face. That's why I got all them stab wounds, stab wounds. You know what I'm saying? So I get wild, I get wild too if you fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? So I know somebody that's wild and they not scared. And like he wasn't Von wasn't scary. Right? He was really on decks fighting, doing his thing. Now, you could bind out what you heard about him in the streets. Okay, cool. I'm saying that to say that's not who Dirk was, though. See what I'm saying? That's no disrespect to Dirk. Dirk just good, good at rapping. See what I'm saying? And he got a bunch of niggas around him that's going to blow, that's going to kill something. They like that. See what I'm saying? They like that. Okay? That matters. That matters. I'm going to give y'all the Chicago spiel on why the fuck Lil Durk sacrificed King Von, man. It, it get way deeper. It's way deeper than that. All right? So I gave, that's why I gave it a little jail story. Now let's keep it rolling. We're not going to stay in jail because we're not in there. Let's keep it rolling. You only need one. Let's keep it rolling. All right? <laughs> we're not going to do that. I don't want to go back there. Let's keep it rolling. All right? So now... You know that little bit, me vouching for his character. Now, I'm vouching for his character, and I'm a credible source. People that's in my university on this channel, I don't support no negativity. This ain't what this channel is about. You know what I'm saying? All right? So, um, now, look at King Von. He got out of jail, right? He beat his murder. He beat his murder. And when he got out of jail, Lil Dirt picked him up. All right? The reason, see, people outside of Chicago don't really know this, but people inside Chicago that pay attention gonna know this. When Vaughn was getting out of jail, like, like he, like he told y'all, you know what I'm saying? You know, this for the people that's not from Chicago. He called himself grandson, right? Do a lot of y'all even know why he called himself that? You know what I'm saying? And don't be, you can't be listening to no motherfuckers in the comments, you know what I'm saying, sometimes, because they don't even be from my city. They don't be knowing shit. They just be commenting. They really be on some, they just be commenting. You feel me? You feel me? Do you know why? 
See what I'm saying? Because he really was the grandson of the king of the whole nation of a lot of people just think it's BDs because the shorties don't know the truth of the nation, but BDs and GDs is one. It was BGDN. King David, this is why I don't know how GDs be like BDK and BDs say GDK. They just blind. King David is everybody king that was under that nation. Yeah, and if you're watching this, you need to know this. Because this is why King Von, a King Von called himself grandson. David Barks there was his granddad. Man, King David is David Barksdale. That was his granddaddy, his real granddaddy. You see what I'm saying? His granddaddy started the whole nation. See, a lot of y'all outside of Chicago only know Larry Hoover. You see what I'm saying? Y'all be like GDs, and it's more GDs than BDs, like GDs everywhere, right? That's real. That's true. But, you know, in the understanding, and this, this is important to know because it's attached to King Von and why Dirk wanted to sacrifice all that. It all tied together, bro. It's all tied together, like... I'm just giving y'all intel right now. I'm just giving y'all intel. All right? So, David Barksdale started that nation. You know what I'm saying? And when he was killed, you know what I'm saying, it split. You know what I'm saying? It went three different ways. You know what I'm saying? Shorty Freeman, Larry Hoover, and Booney Black. They all went different ways. You see what I'm saying? Booney Black took the B and the G. They was they went black gangster. Breeze. That's where Breeze came from. Shorty Freeman took the B and the D. Black disciples. That's where your BDs come from. Larry Hoover took the G and the D. That's where your gangster disciples came from. You know what I'm saying? This is the true history of that. So you gotta know why he was calling himself grandson. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of right now, like in Chicago, like it's so fucked up that the BDs and GDs they killing war with each other, but that's why they come to jail and niggas get their ass whooped. Niggas, because niggas don't want to do one love and be one because they killing each other on the streets. And it's important that you know that because look at all the street. Look at this. This is called street prestige. You know what I'm saying? King Von had street prestige. Even if Lil Durk ain't pick him up, this is why I'm giving y'all this background. This all, this all tied together. Even if fucking Dirk ain't pick King Von up, he was already a legend in the streets. His name was go, his name was big, like. Dirk damn near had to pick up King Von. Or niggas would have looked at him sideways like, what you on? Because you got to remember. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It is it's still what it is. You feel me? Like, you know, I ain't trying to get into no two, 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 wop the woo, wop the weasel. But the vote, if you, you know what I'm saying? You know, shit. Motherfucker's still active. So, you know, it's still laws and policies and effect to a certain extent among certain mobs. So, he could not pick up no real nigga like no King Von. You know what I'm saying? He had to grab Von. Now, what you need to peep is like how quick Von started getting good at music. He started getting so good at music like that that wasn't in the plan for Dirk. That wasn't in Dirk's plan. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't in Dirk's plan. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't in his plan for King Von to get good at rapping that quick. That that Like when he signed him, it was like on some, okay, I'm going to sign him. You know what I'm saying? I'm sign he was signing niggas, I'm gonna sign them. But nobody knew that wasn't in the plan. Nigga, even Chicago ain't know he was gonna start taking on that energy like that. And then he came with that crazy story and it took off for him. And there and there it go. People heard him and it was his energy. Then the world fell in love with his energy. Because you know. He like how he is, you know, Chicago, you know, we was young, wild, and reckless. You know what I'm saying? And and, and that's how we is when we when we young and we growing up in Chicago. So, you know, Von did represented that in his in his energy. He, you know what I'm saying? He just he just showed y'all how Chicago, how we be. It's just how we re a real hood nigga from Chicago, like, he just showed you the energy of how we be. And the world loved it. And I was happy to see him doing like, damn, he. I was fucking with his music. Yeah, 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 I'm an ex GD and all that. I don't get up caught up in no GD BD shit. I don't do no game banging. All I see is guys and goddesses. You hear me? You feel me? I tell motherfucker we need to come together in the real opposite the police. That's what I preach, nigga. And anybody trying to go against that agenda, then I get on their ass. Like I am on, on Dirk right now, because that's what he's doing. He's working with the police and the elite to keep pushing this violence agenda in Chicago. 
But y'all, but the people in Chicago and the, is, is the ones losing their babies and shit. You know what I'm saying? These shorties, y'all listening to this shit going to jail. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do what's being said on the music. Duck and all them, they already dead. So it really is over with. So there's no need to keep. That's what I was been preaching, right? And I left that whole issue alone because I brought it to y'all once a few months ago. Whoever caught, caught it, I left it alone. I never came back. So this video came tonight because, you know what I'm saying, y'all asking me to break this down. On top of that, it's been at my soul to go into detail about this sacrifice because I know this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? See, the streets don't, I, the streets vibrate too low. There's no disrespect to the streets, but the streets, y'all vibrating so low that y'all don't know nothing about blood sacrificing. You know how many niggas that run around, like right now, like right now, that's in O Block, right? That, that, that don't even know. That Dirk sacrificed that man. You know how many motherfuckers don't know that shit? Because they don't know about that level of information. They think it's some street shit. They really think Kwando and them did that. See what I'm saying? People don't know about CGI technology. People don't know about adrenochrome. Adrenochrome, the blood that they drink when they get you at an all-time high and they like to kill you when you're at your highest because you're going to release more adrenaline. They don't know about that. They don't know that Atlanta is the 33rd parallel of the planet. So whatever you do in Atlanta, Dallas, Phoenix, LA, these are 33 parallel cities. It's going to magnify the intensity of it and the intent of it. So if you sacrifice a motherfucker to your false gods, it's going to magnify that intent. They don't know about that. They don't know that Dirk had a great year this year because he sacrificed King Von. This has been Dirk's biggest year, nigga. Go look at his stats, nigga. Platinum, shits with dirt on everybody, remix. That nigga basically turned Pooh Shice into a fucking celebrity just off a of feature, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man. You think that's all talent? You think that's all talent? You really think that's all talent, huh? You know, that ain't all no talent, man. You see? And those who sleep. They going to think like, oh, well, you know, Dirk had a great year this year because he already had a name or no, that's not how the industry work. Dirk been hot. I'm not saying Dirk don't make good music. See what I'm not going to do tonight is lie. I'm not going to lie. So if I'm not going to lie and tell y'all Dirk don't make good music, I like his music. I listen to Dirk music, nigga. So, OK, if I'm going to sit here and tell you that, then why I'm going to lie and say he sacrificed his man's. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie about the shit. Now, just because you can't see it, I am, I'm able to see it. That don't make me a hater. This my gift. This is what I do. This is why I'm divine insight. See what I'm saying? This is what I do. See what I'm saying? Like, you gotta understand this matrix and how it works. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, King Von, he had the street prestige. He was already that nigga, whether he got signed or not. Dirk had to become a rapper to become that nigga. All them niggas around Dirk. And I ain't gonna start naming niggas. You know what I'm saying? Not on YouTube. Hell no. Nah, because this live gonna save. And I ain't the motherfucking police. But the streets know. All them niggas that be around dirt, them niggas, a lot of them niggas is real street niggas. They already got names and had names and dirt was their way out. And that's cool. That's cool too, right? I never had no issue with that, right? But when you start killing your own mans and then you glorifying it and people don't even peep that shit, People don't even peep that shit. And then I see shorties in my city still looking up to you. And, and, and niggas, like, niggas is really thinking that you sliding for Vaughn. They not sliding for Vaughn because this shit was all staged. It was all set up. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I let y'all know first, before we keep rolling, because I got video footage I want to show y'all. I want to show y'all some shit. So before we keep rolling, y'all got to know the reason why. I'm giving you the motive. See, I ain't just going to say a person did something that don't give you the motive, nigga. I'm like the courtroom because I went to trial before. And like when, when T. Greasy said, have you ever went to trial and fought for your life? I went to trial and fought for my life, fam. I ain't cop out, fam. I was facing life in jail. 31 to 55 years. Four, four to five years ago, if convicted, nigga. I stood, stood tall. You hear me? Yeah, I've been to trial and fought for my life. Come on, man. You hear me? Real life shit. Look it up. Look it up yourself. Rashad Jamal White. Look me up. Cook County Jail. Cook County Jurisdiction. Look it up. Went to trial November 5th. I think that what, 2015? Yep. First trial date. Look it on up. Nigga. Yeah, so listen, I'm telling you real facts. You hear me? 
Listen. The man already had his name. He already had his name. So Dirk needed Vaughn. He needed him. Because by grabbing Vaughn, that gave Dirk the street prestige he needed. See what I'm saying? That gave him the street prestige he needed. That was a good look. See what I'm saying? And it made sense. It was a good look to do that. See, a lot of y'all don't know, even though Dirk is BD and King Von is BD, they from two different neighborhoods if you're not from Chicago. Brian, it's 600 people, man. Y'all hit the like button, y'all in here. At least hit, do me that favor, hit the goddamn like button. Damn. Boost the algorithm, nigga. Hit the like button. It's five, 600. I just noticed 600 motherfuckers. Can y'all please hit the like button? Damn. Niggas in here just for the information for real. Nigga, I don't want to do nothing, nigga. What's the info? What happened? But yeah, though, anyway, um, you know, Dirk already had, you feel me? Y'all feel me? Nigga, what happened? I don't do no nigga, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't shit. Nigga, it's a bunch of niggas in here that ain't never in here. Niggas in here just for that. Nigga, what happened? Fuck hitting like. What happened? Fuck that. I don't even know you, nigga. I just scrolled across you, nigga. What happened? You got three seconds, nigga, because I don't even know you like that, and I know them. Who the fuck is you? Is somebody on right now that know them in real? Who the fuck is you, nigga? You got three seconds to make your point, nigga. I ain't clicking shit, nigga. Who the fuck is you? You know what I'm saying? I know my people, and I ain't mad at you if you feel that way, but this is real shit tonight. You hear me? You're going to find out who the fuck I am. Stay your monkey ass in the room tonight, nigga. That's all you got to do. We going to all get through this together. You hear me? Man, yeah, we back We back to talk about Vaughn, man. You feel me like them? But like this real shit though, y'all feel me reflection like, y'all gotta feel me, man. I just need y'all to open, have an open mind tonight. Like, don't think of nobody, hate on nobody, nothing. This is facts. He needed the man, right? So when he finally signed Vaughn, when he finally signed Vaughn, you feel me? That gave him what he needed. It gave him that look. Now, like I told y'all, he didn't plan on Vaughn to take off like that. That wasn't in the plan. Nobody seen that coming. And me being a person that used to rap, I know like. With rap, you can't predict what's a hit. You can't predict what's going to pop. And anybody that's big in music, if they watching right now, they, they do music, they're going to tell you the same. They're like, he ain't lying. You don't know what's going to pop. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never had a hit record. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think it's because of talent. It's more because of that machine. You need that machine behind you. But it don't matter. Even if you got the machine behind you, you don't know what the people going to like. Y'all kind of decide what's hot. Even no matter how much money they put behind it, y'all putting it in y'all face enough and y'all liking it makes it hot. You feel me? So, understand that I'm not saying like Dirk wasn't already making good music. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that because Dirk already was doing this thing making good music. But signing King Von to his label, knowing who Von was to the streets, nigga. And, and them both being like, that made sense. And that looked good on Dirk. And that was a good street look on Dirk. And he got the whole O Block really with him. Because Dirk is from Lamron. King Von is from O Block. Killer Ward originally, but O Block. So I just say O Block. You hear me? Dirk ain't from the same hood as King Von. Keep that in mind. Yeah, niggas is what they is, but nigga, you ain't from my hood. And if you from Chicago, y'all know how we be, man. Now, I'm from Chicago. I'm not no YouTuber, nigga. I'm from Division and Noble, nigga. 1100. You know what I'm saying? I see somebody coming 1300 like, yeah, Polo G, they right up the street from us. They all said it. You know what I'm saying? We 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 down the street. They 1300, we 1100. We both on division, though. They on division and said we on division and noble. We on the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, though, so um, you feel me? Like, they not from the same hood. So if you from Chicago, I need you to really think about that. Cause a lot of y'all from Chicago and think about that. They not from the same hood. You know how motherfuckers be. Nigga, I don't give a fuck what we is. Nigga, you still ain't from the land. You know what I'm saying? You still ain't from the O. You know what I'm saying? Like, you still ain't from 600, you know what I'm saying? It's like that type of thing, you know what I'm saying? You know, Chicago motherfuckers grime, you know what I'm saying? That's why he, look, look, look. Look, man, hold on. I'm going to pull it up for you. I, I'm, I'm going to show y'all, too. I'm going to play a bunch of songs because, see, I used to write music. I still write music, right? So, me being an artist, I know what the shit we be writing, we be meaning that shit, and we tell our shit in our music. Come on, man. 
That nigga Dirk telling on himself in his songs, nigga. If you just listen with an open third, with your third eye open, all right? And then, you know, you got people that say he reach. It ain't no reach. It. Like, you're just under light, cold lockdown, and you refuse to accept the fact that celebrities sacrifice their family members and kill people close to them. Come on, man. The baby lost his daddy, then went number one. Meg the Stallion lost a motherfucker, won a Grammy. And we can go on and on and on and on. That's just recent, motherfucker. Vaughn get killed all of a sudden. Dirk, goddamn it, up for Grammy nominations. He doing shit with Drake. Nigga got extra endorsements, you know what I'm saying? You hear me? Like, Vaughn didn't even get to see no, no, no proceeds off the album. That's how dirty he is. That's why he said, that's why he said, that's, that's, that's why, that's why he said, hey, yo, Pooh, you know I'm really shysty. You hear me? You think the nigga rapping about some other shit? Hell no. Nah. He laughing at y'all ass because y'all don't know. Fuck out of here, nigga. Because he know, like, see, this is the thing, right? That's just like, I had told Memo this. Cause I was talking to Memo on the phone, like, Memo 600. Like, he stopped following me on the gram. He got mad at me because I made that video. And you know what I'm saying? He, I guess he felt like I was saying fuck Dirk. But I wasn't saying that. I was saying Dirk is a sellout. All right? He sucked a lot of dick to get to where he's at. All right? And then he did some whole shit. He went and blackballed all the GDs out of Chicago from getting to the top. And he did that years ago. And Lil J told me that when I was in jail with Lil J, and I didn't believe him. And then when I got out and seen what Duck and it was going through and all these cold ass Chicago GD rappers, I'm like, oh yeah, damn, he, they wasn't lying. Dirk really did blackball niggas. And then when I seen Young Chop on the FaceTime arguing with, with Duck and them, and he was telling that nigga, like, yeah, nigga, y'all ain't gonna never get in. You see what I'm saying? And then when Duck did get in, look how they did him. Like, he ain't really have a real, real deal. Like, he ain't never get that machine like he deserved. Look at Famous Dex. Famous Dex, you know what I'm saying? He ain't really get. Shit, King Diesel in Chicago, one of the coldest rappers. He GD, why, folks ain't on up where he's supposed to be. Ty Money, cold another. I can name so many cold GD rappers, so don't say I'm just making this up because I, 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 a motherfucker used to be GD or GD, whatever. Nigga, I'm a god before I'm anything. Nigga, I'm talking facts. All right? And I'm I'm another cold rapper from Chicago that's GD and it didn't, didn't get that. You know what I'm saying? It's real. So I'm, I'm saying these facts. All right? I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying these facts so y'all can know this shit. All right? So, Dirt, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he not, he, the reason he not right, you know what I'm saying, is because, you know, the, to me, the grimiest thing about it is when I see, like, motherfuckers from Old Block, right, online, and they all still looking at duck, like, looking like, fuck, like, I know that old block and them probably, like, I don't, I don't even talk to nobody from old block, you hear me? I just know in my soul, them motherfuckers is fucking with Dirk still. They really think Quando did that shit, you see what I'm saying? Because they blind to the industry. Just like I told Memo 600 on the phone after Von died. I told Memo this, and if Memo see this video, he know I told him that. I said, bro, I called him FaceTime, I said, bro, you got some good music, bro. I don't care what nobody say about you, Memo. I fuck with you, bro. That's what I told Memo. I said, I don't care what nobody say about you, bro. I fuck with you, bro, because Memo never did no whole shit to me. Other than when he unfollowed me. That was some other shit. Why don't you unfollow me, folks? I said some shit about Dirk. That's true. That's, that's, that shit is soft as hell. Well, anyway, I told his ass. I was like, bro, you make some good music, bro. Get the fuck away from Lil Dirk. That's what I told his ass. You know what I'm saying? I told Memo that on the phone, on the FaceTime. I told him that, man. You hear me? I told him that. And don't nobody be on in the comments on no, oh, you fucking Memo? I'm my own guy. I'm a fucker whoever I want to fuck with. See what I'm saying? I'm a guy. I fuck with my people. We all got carbon in our skin. I don't do no game banging. I only game bang with the, with the police, nigga. That's who I game bang with. It's fuck 12, nigga. I ain't got no issue with nobody with carbon in their skin. Feel me? My issue with the real ops, the police, government. Anyway, back to what I was saying. You know? Just got to check motherfuckers in their thoughts because I know somebody in this little 630 thinking like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no follower, nigga. You hear me? If a nigga do something to me, then it's, then it's fuck him. You know what I'm saying? But if a nigga don't do nothing to me, I ain't never no nigga just going to not fuck with no nigga off some shit I heard on the internet. That ain't who I am. You feel me? That's some whole shit. You feel me? So anyway, at this point in time, I was fuck with Memo. I FaceTime Memo. I was like, look, bro. You make good music, bro. I don't care what they say about you on the internet, about you being a goofy, none of that. You ain't got nothing to prove. He on the phone. Man, bro, I wasn't even there with when that shit happened. I'm like, bro, you ain't got to prove shit to me. 
I don't fuck with you for that, man. I don't care about that. I'm saying you got a chance to make it out. Duck just got killed. King Von got killed, nigga. You make good music. Make your good music. Get on it and put your family. Get your family in order. You ain't got to keep dissing niggas no more. Just make good music. That's what I told him. I'm a real big... That's what I supposed to tell him, nigga. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's real shit. That's what I told him. You know what I'm saying? And you know... Of course, he wasn't trying to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he wasn't trying to hear that shit. So I told him that, though. Okay? So, now, none of these individuals, even somebody like a Memo 600 or somebody that's signed to him, they still not aware of this industry of the spiritual side because they vibrating low. I know they not. They don't know that Dirk DeMay. Y'all don't even know Dirk DeMay deals with these people. You don't even know that because you don't know about the spiritual side of it, of the industry, of the selling your soul, signing off in blood, sacrificing people, having to take that oath to get your records played like that. They don't just play your records in the industry. You got to go through gateways. You know how many cold rappers it is, nigga, that never made it, nigga? It has nothing to do with your talent. This is what I'm telling my shorties that want to be rappers, man. Are you ready to do what you got to do to be where you want to be? It's the question. It ain't got nothing to do with your talent. I just sat in the office two years ago with a label A&R. Deal right on the table. Didn't take it when I found out what came with it. So, as a shorty, I'm telling you. Are you willing to do what comes with trying to get in that position? And the bigger you want to get, the more sacrifices you got to make. And I know I'm not the first person y'all that heard this from. So what you think? Everybody lying to you, huh? We all lying. We all just hate. I got my own bag, bro. Got my own house, beautiful wife, former whips, money, jewelry, all that shit. I got anything I ever wanted on that, on that level. I got it. You hear me? I got it. You know what I'm saying? On the fifth. So why am I, and I'm sitting here telling you money ain't everything. You need that energy only because that's how they designed the matrix, right? But money shouldn't be to the point where you're going to kill your own people. Let a motherfucker fuck you in the ass. If you not no homosexual, you shouldn't let nobody fuck you in the ass for no money. So I'm not attacking the gay community. So don't say I'm attacking the gay community. I fucks with the gay community, nigga. You know why? Because they ass real, nigga. Reeling in a lot of you niggas. Facts, nigga. Facts, nigga. A, a homosexual, a transgender, a lesbian, nigga. A dyke, whatever you want to call them, nigga. At least they being they self. You hear me? They're being they self. I can respect that, nigga. Because that's all you're supposed to be is yourself. But I can't respect you if you being somebody you're not. And most of the world is not being they self. Nigga. Facts. So don't try to make it seem like I'm attacking them. No. I'm only attacking one person tonight. Lil Dirk. And I'm attacking these draconian reptilians who he made the deal with. Because that's who run Hollywood. That's who the elite is. We always saying they. But then when somebody tell y'all who they is, you don't want to believe it. Who is they? Reptilians and Pleiades. So you telling me it's a group of people that shape shift and they're really from a different place. Yes, nigga, you're from not from here neither. You, I don't believe that. Okay, you don't believe in, a, in, a, in, a, in an advanced extraterrestrial race that can shape shift into the look like these white people, right? That can change the way they look. But you believe that Jesus walked on water, though. Let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves with the outlandish beliefs here. All right? All right? You don't, you're not willing to even fathom that it's potentially a race of, extra, of advanced extraterrestrial beings who are controlling this whole planet because they are shapeshifters and they have infiltrated us on every level of society. You ain't trying to hear that. You're not willing to believe that. But you believe Jesus walked on water, though. And he fed a loaf. He fed 5,000 with two loaves of bread. So let's not get ahead of ourselves with outlandish beliefs. Because there's a bunch of outlandish shit that been said that you believe. You ain't never even asked twice. All right? So understand that they is these draconian reptilians and they run Hollywood, nigga. And they, not just Hollywood, everything. All right? Okay. So. When you are artists, these are the people you got to make your deal with. You sit down 
And yeah, they look like regular white people, but they are not regular white people, nigga. And they sit you down in Hollywood and you, you know what I'm saying? And they, you make this deal and you sign off on all these agreements. And they let you know right there, hey, listen, once we let you through this door, there's no going back. That's what Lil Dark did. Once they let you through this door, ain't no going back. Okay, so now you through that door. Now you got to do shit. You know how many motherfuckers Lil Dirk sacrificed and people think the streets did it? He sacrificed his cousin, Nooski. That's why I said all the gloves coming off tonight. You know how many times I didn't watch motherfuckers comment in videos online talking about these niggas and that set killed Nooski and killed this nigga and killed that nigga. And I'm just sitting back looking at the comments and I never say nothing. I never say nothing. I'm like, whatever. I don't even dive into it. Right? Listen, man. You feel me? In street, you know, the street's so fucked up, niggas ain't gonna, because niggas fake. Nigga, we did that. You see what I'm saying? That's how dumb niggas. Nigga, yeah, we did that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just to say that, that's what the niggas gonna do. Just like the police. They got, the government got mercenary groups riding around giving out headshots. And instead of niggas coming together to be like, man, let's fight them, niggas wanna take up for murders they know they ain't did. Nigga, the police doing 90% of the murders in Chicago. Nigga, not child. That's why so many of them are unsolved, nigga. Fuck. Nigga, the police doing damn near 90% of the murders in every city. Nigga, they getting busy out here. But niggas want to get on the internet. Yeah, nigga, that was us, nigga. Nigga, that was us. Yeah, it's, it's niggas getting a little active, but y'all ain't getting more active than the mercenary group. Stop the Cappy. Stop it, Cappy Poindexter. Bunch of Cappy Poindexters online. Nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Y'all ain't doing that shit. So stop taking the credit for it and let's put it on the spotlight because y'all making my job hard. I'm telling motherfuckers the government is walking around with mad stone dressed up like us. It's called mercenary groups, nigga. They've been doing this shit for 20 years now, nigga. Killing us to keep the, to keep the crime rate looking a certain way. We too busy killing each other, okay? So then why does that matter? Because that plays into me saying that he sacrificed Nooski. And a few other motherfuckers around him that niggas thought the streets killed, nigga. And the streets ain't gonna not say they didn't kill him because niggas wanna look tough. Nigga, we did that, nigga. Yeah, we did that. Okay, if y'all did that and y'all all online, nigga, think about this. Let me let me point something out, especially to a lot of y'all that keep up with that drill scene. I'm gonna be real with y'all. That shit like WCW. I'm gonna tell you why. Bro, do you know how many motherfuckers y'all be keeping up with the drill scene? Y'all ain't even from Chicago, right? And y'all be all in the comments and shit, right? And ain't nobody asking this question. Bro, y'all be in the comments saying what hood killed who, how many bodies a nigga got, the whole nine, right? Nigga, it's whole videos dedicated to how many murders of somebody got. Like, what type of weird shit is going on, nigga? You infatuated with how many You know what I'm saying? I came from that shit. I'm in Atlanta. We trying to get away from that shit, nigga. Real street, nigga. We trying to get away from that, nigga. We not trying to be in that shit. We not trying to make videos about the shit, nigga. We lived it. I don't need no videos. I lived it. I leave that video for y'all ass, nigga. I lived it. You hear me? I'm going to get on this bitch and kick real shit. And you can think I'm a lame because you want to be what you seeing. I lived it. Do you really believe niggas be in the comments under all these drill videos? I call it drill galore, right? Niggas been to all these drill videos commenting about what set killed who in Chicago, right? You ever ask yourself why them niggas don't go to jail for the murders? Niggas got whole videos like they athletes. This nigga got 30 murders. This nigga got 20 murders. Okay, why they ain't snatched this nigga up for none of the murders you saying he got? Because nigga, I know a nigga said I shot a nigga. It took one nigga to say I shot a nigga and my ass went down nigga and fought a first degree attempt murder for four years of my motherfucking life, nigga. Since when? They gave me a million niggas on the internet under the comments. He did it. It was him. It was him. They did that. Why ain't nobody going to jail then? Why ain't nobody going to jail then, nigga? All these niggas under the comments saying these niggas killing these niggas. Ain't nobody going to jail. Police ain't pulling up questioning. No. Nobody, nigga. Come on, man. It only took one person to say Rashad White shot him. Nigga, they stormed the crib, nigga. They stormed my shit. I came out that bitch just like this, nigga. Nigga, for years, nigga, I'm in trial like this, nigga. 
See, if that judge would have said guilty, nigga, I wasn't coming home till I was 63, nigga. I wouldn't even be talking to y'all ass right now, nigga. Come on, man. I come out this shit for real, nigga. Since when that many niggas can get online and say a nigga killed, them, killed somebody and ain't nobody in question? See what I'm saying? Because they not doing it, nigga. The police is. Come on, man. That's just like Memo. Let me say his name now because we talk about him a little bit. Don't do that, y'all. A lot of y'all shorty, y'all just seen Memo. He was on the thing. He had the little, he had a little Draco and shit. He was performing and shit. I seen that we kind of like, gee, that's what I'm saying, gee. When you see shit like that, you know niggas got the police on their side, man. Nigga, you can't do that. And the last time I checked, I thought niggas was felons. I thought niggas was ex felons, nigga. Since when you could just on stage ex felon with the chopper, nigga? That's ten years fair time, nigga. Now if you coming like me and you like fuck twelve and you warm with twelve, that's different. I'm like, fuck them, nigga. I ain't honoring no laws in their country. I ain't honoring the police till they start locking up the pedophiles. Once the police in America start back locking up, when y'all start locking up these senators and these presidents who molesting our daughters, molesting these kids, sex trafficking these kids, then I will follow laws in America. Until then, y'all can't tell me shit. See, that's a, but that's a whole different step right there. Memo ain't on that step. How the fuck you on stage with the Drake performing, nigga? So security ain't say nothing? I thought niggas was felons, though. That's just like the baby. Now, I'm exposed to all this shit tonight. Nigga, it comes down. Because this shit is WCW. Nigga, y'all better wake up. This shit WCW, nigga. Real street niggas. You know, like I say, man. You know why real street niggas that rap don't make it like myself? Because we was too busy actually doing that dumb shit. See what I'm saying? If I spend more time in the booth rapping, nigga... As opposed to being in the street. You know what? I probably would have been on a long time ago when I used to rap. Well, not really, because I wasn't finna do that old crazy shit they wanted me to do. But excluding that crazy shit, nigga, do y'all get my point? I'm too busy in the streets living this shit, nigga. That's your first sign that these niggas is WCW. These niggas is wrestlers, nigga. These niggas is action figures, nigga. Niggas is whole action figures, nigga. Come on, man. Niggas is performing with Dracos. I thought niggas was felons. Come on, man. You hear me? You hear me? Come on, man. Same thing with the baby. So y'all think y'all y'all think he whooped dude that 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 the shit that made him really look gangster? No, the label built his image up to look gangster. The baby, he made good music too, but they built his image up to look gangster. Then they start overdoing it. So you should have known it was all a media hype. He started going to jail every week. Now, come on now, come on now. All right now, <laughs> you had us at first, all right? You had me with the Walmart shit at first until I found out that he was supposed to be a felon. Well, God damn it. So if the baby was supposed to be in a felon when he shot the dude in Walmart, ain't that what gave me street rep with all us on the internet? That and the shit that happened in Atlanta. That was stage two. Real life shit, nigga. When the baby was on that porch, nigga, and all the niggas walked up like, yeah, cause, nigga, that shit was staged. Nigga. nigga, bring his ass to any hood in Atlanta and tell him do that shit right now. They gonna beat his ass out there, nigga. You tripping. You go to anybody hood like that, nigga, they gonna fan you and the camera crew down, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. And if you from Atlanta, you should have felt some way that he tried that he made y'all look soft like that. Instead of when he come to Atlanta, y'all, yeah, y'all all happy, nigga. You get on making us look soft. We ain't no bitches in Atlanta. Y'all both turned up. And guess what? I'm from Chicago, but I live in Atlanta now. So now Atlanta's my second city. So now this is technically my city, too. So y'all can get this shit together. We ain't moving like that, nigga. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? I'm on y'all count now a little bit. I'm from the shadow. I'm always shy rap, but I'm on y'all count a little bit. So we got to get this shit in order, nigga. We ain't going like that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, look, right? So check it out. Real life shit, though. You know what I'm saying? When he caught the murder in Walmart, nigga, he was supposed to be a felon. Okay, so he's a felon. How he ain't go to jail for the murder? He didn't do no time or none of that. You know that, right? Even if self-defense. Bro, I beat my case self-defense. It still took me four years. Nigga. And even if and even if he had <laughs> hold on. He still 
is a felon. Right? So even if he shot him in self-defense, he's supposed to still have a case, nigga. He's supposed to still have a, 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 a possession case, nigga. Okay, you shot him self-defense. We can't hit you with that. But what are you doing with the gun? That's still a case. You're not supposed to have it. That's still time. I'm lying. Come on, man. You're so I'm an ex-felon, nigga. You better run that shit with these internet niggas. I ain't no internet nigga. And I'm not bragging about it. I'm just saying I'm only speaking facts. Nigga, I ain't hating on nobody. Fuck out of here, nigga. You ain't never finna blow no nigga down and you a felon and then they bring you in custody, nigga. And you like, what happened, man? He ran up on me. I fanned him down. And then what happened? I just fanned him down after he ran up on me. Okay, well, thank you for telling us that he did that. We, we won't charge you with the murder, but we have to charge you with reckless discharge in public. We're gonna charge you with possession of a firearm by a felon. We're gonna charge you with... <laughs> nigga, they gonna hit your ass with about eight, nine something, nigga. All right? So let's not focus on the baby because we're talking about Dirk and King Von. But I was using that because I'm going to tear down Hollywood tonight. Because I don't do this shit on my channel. So if it comes to my channel, if it has to come across my desk, I'm tearing that bitch to the ground. Verbally with facts. Nigga. This shit WCW. Now I know y'all got a lot of favorite rappers y'all like and love and shit. But listen, man. Wake up, y'all. Wake up, man. I know y'all thinking niggas out here really doing all them killers. Niggas is not doing that. Niggas just, they just like, uh, South Walker artists just got shot in the head in Chicago, right? Through the tent. And nigga, you really think the streets did that? You know the streets gonna claim it. Gee, the man had 10 on the car. Now, when I seen the comments, niggas like, oh, it's a lucky shot. Okay, well, look up how many, look up the murders in Chicago, or any city for that matter, and look up how many head of my head shots, then look up how many of them are unsolved. Do your research, then you come back to me and you let me know, does that sound like niggas in the street? Or does that sound like military? Who you know hitting a nigga through tents headshot, nigga? Ain't no luck. Military man will, though. Mark's me gonna hit your ass, nigga. He gonna line your ass up. Come on, man. Go look at these murders in Chicago. Y'all, I research, this is what I do. Go look at these murders at Chicago. Look at how many of them are headshots and look at them. How many are unsolved, nigga? And then once you get that together, then all the gangs in Chicago, maybe we can all come together and fuck up the real ops, which is these police who riding around snaking y'all ass and you thinking it's them niggas from the other side. See what I'm saying? That's how they keep y'all scared of each other. Come on, man. I'm just waking y'all up, man. They the ops, nigga. All right. Now, back to what we were saying with Vaughn and Dirt. Now, the thing is, you got to know is that with Vaughn having all that street rap like that and us coming from Chicago, you know, a, a city of where rap means a lot. And, you know, Dirt is a drill rapper. He needed that. He needed Vaughn's energy. OTF changed because of Vaughn, nigga. I'm lying. Nigga, how long? Oh, yeah. And once again, shout out to Influence Your Money Mob. You know what I'm saying? See them numbers went up. Let's shout my boy out again. Shout the God out. All right, but look. Let me read. Yeah, man, I ain't finna lie about nothing. He said they say Von Dead got smoked with a son. Listen, man, I'm not lying to y'all about nothing. The government has been going city to city killing us since the 80s because they wanted to start the gang war. So it's just now starting to come out a little bit that they walk around with masks on. Man, they been doing us like that, y'all. They been doing us like that, y'all. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to see. But y'all keep thinking I'm the crazy guy. The only people that know I'm not the crazy guy is the ops. That's why they send me death threats and emails. Because I talk about the Pleiadians and Reptilians. And I talk about the mercenary groups. And I talk about this frequency war. That's why we talking about King Von tonight. Because he's a big part of the frequency war right now. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like. Dirk did him so wrong, man. Because like the whole thing was a setup, though. Y'all, Dirk did him so dirty because the whole thing was a setup. Like, from Vaughn getting out of jail, him signing him, 
to him meeting Asian Doll, the whole thing was a setup. Even Asian Doll is on in on it. She was the undercover agent that they moved in under Vaughn to keep an eye on him. She was also the one slipping shit in his drinks at times so that they can do little programmings to him. Cause see that night, that night when he when he was deported and when his soul was deported, you know what I'm saying? He was drugged that night. You know what I'm saying? He was he was, but he wasn't just drugs. He y'all when y'all thinking drug, y'all thinking drug like like cause it's been coming out that he was drugged. But see, y'all thinking drugs like far as like they put a pill in him. No, he was hypnotized. And see, y'all don't know nothing about magic and, and, and sorcery and witchcraft. Cause, and that's what Hollywood is. Why do you think you like your favorite song? Because they tamper with the frequency. That's the same shit that got XXX killed. Go look it up on YouTube. XXX made a video exposing the music industry and how they be putting shit in the frequency. And then he got killed a few months later, nigga. Facts. I'm telling you, facts. They tamper with the frequencies in the music. But that's why your ass can't get that song out your head. That's why when they go, when you used to go to concerts, motherfuckers, ah, they pass out frequency, sorcery. They're tampering with the frequency. You know what I'm saying? It's a frequency. That's just like, I played a singing bowl on Instagram earlier. If I go get it right now and I start playing that singing bowl, the frequency so high, it's going to make you feel good through the camera. It's frequency. You know what I'm saying? So that night, King Von wasn't just, he, he wasn't just drugged. He was, he was spiritually drugged. They hypnotized him. You hear me? They hypnotized him. So even when they even when they showing the fight with him and Quando Rondo, all that shit never happened, man. Staged. 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 The whole thing. Staged. Staged. All right. Now, when they hypnotize you, all right, and they showed you this and get out. When they hypnotize you, they tamper with your pineal gland. So it wouldn't be hard to hypnotize Vaughn if you move if you move Asian doll up under him as a double agent. Now, now, how did he meet Asian doll? Go back and look at the story of how King Vaughn said he even met Asian doll. Go look it up on your own time because we're saving this video. It's not gonna go nowhere. When you go look it up, the first thing you're gonna see is that. King Von made it known that he got Asian dog going through who phone? Dirk. Now, at the time when he was going through Dirk phone, he wasn't even Von yet. You feel me? He wasn't even Von yet. All right? So... Like the Vine that the world became to know. The King Von rap Von image. So you telling me, you hit up Asian Dog from Lil Dirk phone. Now Lil Dirk was Lil Dirk. But you hit up Asian Dog from Lil Dirk phone, which, make, which looks like some super thirsty, broke little kid shit. And her being Asian Dog bite on that. And she Asian Dog at the time. She's already, Asian Dog been had a name in the little buzz and her, her what she got going. And she bit on that. Right? No, that was that that was all part of the plan. Facts. That's not knocking Vaughn. I'm telling y'all facts. All right. So Asian Dog was brought in, you know, what I'm saying up under him. Now, a lot of y'all that's fans of Asian Dog, y'all probably don't want to hear that because, you know, it's wrestling. It's like wrestling. You know, when you a kid, you don't want to find out that Stone Cold Steve Austin can't really whoop nobody ass. He ain't finna, who he finna do that move on? Who finna sit there and let Stone Cold do this, y'all? Kick them in their stomach and then do all this. <clears throat> Who finna do that? They wife finna do that dumb ass shit. But when you was a kid, you felt like could nobody whoop Stone Cold. Man, he tried that shit in real life. Motherfucker gonna go all upside his chin. Who finna sit there and let you do all that? You know what I'm saying? Or Shawn Michaels doing all this. Before he sweet chin, he... <laughs> Who finna... I'm not finna let you rev up to do none of that shit, fam. Why you doing all that? I'm all in your grill with motherfucking uppercuts and hooks. Bring your bitch ass out here, nigga. You, you gonna have to throw that motherfucker in. You gonna have to throw that motherfucker while we... Hey, you hear me? You gonna have to learn how to bounce with that motherfucker. Son, you gonna have to learn how to jab and throw that bitch. You hear me? You better learn how to jab, throw that bitch. Ain't no revving up. <laughs> you hear me? Get your ass out of here trying to rev up some shit. I might pick you up, put you on your shit. Jump all on your shit. 
Mm, mm, mm. Fuck you think you at, boy. You better learn how to throw that bitch in motion. You know what I'm saying? So I get it with rap. With rap, it's the same way. It's like when you find out that these people are action figures, you don't want to accept the fact that Asian doll ass is an agent. She is. Why you think? Listen. It's eating her soul what she did to King Von. That's why the fuck she steady. I went and got Von name tatted four times today. Who does that? First off, nigga, the average person, if you do pass away and they miss you, they're going to get you tatted one time. That's it, bro. I don't give a fuck how much you missed them. Who finna go get? Ain't that much love in the world, especially at the time he wasn't even fucking with her. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being. They was broken up, right? So who the fuck doing that? You really believe it? No, that's that guilty conscience. Like, damn, I can't believe I did that. I should have told him. From jump, the whole thing was a setup. Facts, man. You don't know a guilty conscience when you see one? They wasn't even together. Laura London ain't even doing that for Nipsey and they was together. Come on, man. Open your third eye. All right? Told you, man. The shit WCW, man. Eating her up inside. That's why she's getting his ass tatted four times. She knows she is a dirty dog. What applesauce head ass. And I liked it her too. You see what I'm saying? I fucked with Asian dogs till she set them up though. I'm like, damn. And see, me, I be in the Astros, right? So that's why I didn't want to never make the video, this video. Cause see me being from Chicago and me tapping into the Astros, I'm gonna combine everything and it's gonna hit differently than if they do it, cause they not from my city. You feel me? But it was like y'all was saying telling me to do this, and then my soul was being pulled to do it. I kind of felt like he was in my head, like, man, nigga, you from where I'm from, fam. Go ahead, drop that bitch, let they ass know the real. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? Like, cause they was being like, drop it, I ain't wanna do it. But like, yeah, and I'm not never doing this again. Like after tonight, if you still don't get this shit and how it go, then you'll never get it. Because I still got some footage to show y'all too. I'm going to pull it up. But now we on Asian dog. So she was the Asian that was moved in under him. All right. She was the agent, man. Now, I'd love me some Asian dog. Because, you know, shout out to Dallas. I fuck with the D. So that's how I always fuck with Asian dog. I was fucking with Asian dog like Queen Key. You know, I fucked with Queen Key too before she played me out, out, played me over a verse. I used to fuck with Shorty. I got a song with and everything. You know what I'm saying? But same thing with Asian Doll. I used to fuck with Asian Doll, like not like Queen Key. Like I never did no music with her, none of that. But what I'm saying, like in the sense of like she came out, I supported what she was doing. I like what she was doing, and I fuck with Dallas. That's like my third home, and she from. So I fuck and even Cuban set. I like I fucked out like I like they doing their little teenager. That's what's up. You feel me? So I'm not saying it's out of like no. You know, she got down on that man. I that's just the truth. That's just the truth. Like, I'm not no person that's going to just say something to say something, man. If you ask me, does Asian Doll make good music? I'm going to say, yeah, I like her music. If you ask me right now, even though you say she got an applesauce head and she pretty, I'm going to say, hell yeah. Asian Doll got some, she's sexy to me, right? But all that shit go out the window when you did that old flaw ass shit. So that's why I say like applesauce head. I, I, like, I like to say that so y'all can know. You can never say I'm, I'm, I'm hating on nobody. I vibrate high. I'm just speaking facts, and motherfuckers don't like them facts, and they take it that way. You hear me? Like I say, if you ask me, does Lil Durk make good music? Yes, he makes good music. Now, ask me, is he a real nigga? No, he's not a real nigga. Ask me, is his ass out here getting getting, getting, getting real freaky for them for his position? I'm going to say, hell yeah. And if you be like, is he muff? Did he sacrifice his mans? I'm going to say, yes, he did. I hate her. I ain't even going to like the man music. You know what I'm saying? That's facts. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. All right? Now, I know why he did it. He can't tell y'all why he did it. He ain't going to tell his niggas he did it. He ain't going to tell nobody on O-Block he did it. They don't understand the industry. They vibrating low. They don't know nothing about spirituality. Niggas on the block getting high all day. Niggas don't even know this is possible, nigga. Facts, nigga. Boy. But guess what? The truth going to come to light. And when niggas in O-Block do find out he did this shit, then he is going to have more shit going. Because the truth going to come out. It's already coming out. So it's only so long, but it's only so motherfucking long before the shit hit the fan. And then niggas gonna see it for what it is. Like, oh, okay, damn. He really did get down on Vine. Yes, because he was jealous of Vine. 
Because Vaughn already had that street prestige. Vaughn was the real nigga. Vaughn didn't need no shooters. Vaughn ain't need no. He was that. You see what I'm saying? So when he get on a song and he rapping with that energy, it was different than Dirk's. It was different than Dirk because Vaughn really living that shit. Dirk rapping that shit. That's a big difference. Vaughn was living it. Dirk was just rapping it. So that's why Vaughn energy took off like that. Because you can't fake it when it's real. See what I'm saying? When it's real, you that shit come from the soul. You hear it in a motherfucking voice. You like, yeah, that, that's real shit. You feel? That's like me sitting there talking to y'all. Y'all always come in here and get in here and fuck with me on live. I do this all the time. Definitely for the new people that get in. We do this all the time. But y'all come in here and fuck with me because y'all feel it. You feel it in here when I'm talking. You can feel it in your soul. You're like, okay. This nigga saying real shit right now. He ain't be being... He ain't on no hate shit. He ain't putting nobody down. He, he, he I'm bringing truth to life. Yeah, Mo3 was a sacrifice too. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't talking about Mo3 in this video. You know what I'm saying? But if y'all want Mo3 next, hit me up or something, man. But we just talking to Vaughn. Look, listen, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Everybody around is going to find out this fact that Dirk sacrificed King Von, right? And the, this next sacrifice is going to be Memo. They're doing the same thing to Memo that they did to Von. I see it coming now. They're building Memo up. Memo follows going up. He's starting to get more clout. They build the Memo up, build him up. Build. As soon as we get him all the way up there, something going to happen to Memo 600. You know what I'm saying? Say that's what he just did to Vaughn. He built him up, built him up, built him up, played the role like he fucked with him. He, he ain't like him on some jealous shit. See what I'm saying? You know, Dirk the type of nigga gotta go pay a nigga to smack a nigga. Vaughn go smack a nigga itself. You know what I'm saying? So you don't think Dirk was jealous of Vaughn? So you telling me y'all really think Dirk out there sliding for Vaughn? I'm in Georgia. You think they down here sliding for Vaughn? I'm in Atlanta, nigga. And I'm outside every day. And I fuck with niggas in the streets in Atlanta. I fuck with the Bloods down here, the GDs down here, and the Crips, nigga. I'm, I'm, act, I'm in the streets. I fuck with niggas. You hear me? And niggas fuck with me because I got good energy. They know what I'm on. They, when they see me, they like, oh, that's Rashad Jamal. That nigga, he around. We whoa, they fuck with me because I be on that war with 12 shit. Nigga, oh, yeah, we fuck with guys. You know, so, who he sliding on? Nigga shot a video. They went down there and shot a video. All right, and then nigga has selling V-Roy merch and V-Roy hats. You can't see a sacrifice when you see it. He's selling V-Roy hats. He's he's making money off the man death in front of y'all ass. Everybody around Vaughn that was down in Atlanta was in on him being set up. The manager and everybody itself for Muwa. Facts. That's the only motherfucker I ain't know, and I don't even know Muwa. See what I'm saying? I'm just tapped in with the Astros. See what I'm saying? Muwab loyal. I know that from the Astro. I don't even know him personally. See what I'm saying? They couldn't have got to Muwab like that. His soul ain't that type of soul. He he loyal to what he loyal to. If he loyal, if he fuck with you, he fuck with you. He loyal to you. See what I'm saying? So a lot of these niggas that's around Dirk right now that's still they don't even know that he did that to Vaughn. See, they like they know. They don't know. Only motherfucker that know this is Vaughn and the motherfuckers that was there that night. In Dirk. You hear me? If you wasn't in Atlanta that night, living down here with him, you don't know that. You back home on O Block in Chicago, or you back home on the lamb, or you just back home in Chicago, or you just a fan in general, nigga. You hear me? Why you think on, let me let y'all hear something, man. Why you think on this verse, Vaughn was able to predict what was going to happen to him? Let me let y'all hear this real quick. All right? The reason he was able to say this because he was already under hypnosis. They had been putting him under hypnosis. If you remember what they did to um the guy in Get Out, they do this. The elites do this in Hollywood a lot. They 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 will tamper with your pineal gland. All they got to do is get you sleep. All right. Once they tamper with your pineal gland, then they can put you in a state of hypnosis where they can control you. Right. So they basically use. Look, when I say Dirk did Von dirty, he did him dirty. I'm talking about the whole way through, y'all, from, from Vaughn getting out of jail to him buying Vaughn shit, him building him up, him signing him to OTF, the whole buildup of, of him looking like he there for Vaughn. All that was all part of the play, right? It was all part of the play. And when I show y'all this video at the end, and I ain't even do it. Another YouTuber did it, but it's on Ali. I gotta let y'all see it. It's the gematria on everything. You're gonna be like, hell fucking yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? All right, so he basically, he, he, the whole thing was a setup. Let me see that lighter, babe. The whole thing was a setup, all right? Now, when they put you under like a form of MK Ultra, which is what they got Dreezy under right now. Dreezy's under MK Ultra right now, too. That's why Dreezy, yeah, they, she put the freestyle out, but majority she ain't put no music out so long because they got under MK Ultra. They didn't turn the ass to an Instagram model because of that, what that verse she did with Kodak Black on Spar. All right, go listen to Dreezy's verse on Spar. They got on her ass for that for that verse. All right, and they killed Kodak for his verse. Um, and, and black, they just blackballed him for his for that verse for that song. Everybody on that song got dealt with accordingly. All right, this is what the elites do to you when you act like you don't want to play by the rules. All right, now listen to this. Let me show y'all something. If you work in a team, you should be using Monday.com. I'm gonna show y'all something. At this point, he was under MK Ultra. So what they did was. When he wrote the song, him being on the MK Ultra not knowing that he wrote this song and they was giving him the words to write. So that's why this song seems so prophetic to his death. But he was already on the MK Ultra. So listen to these words. Hold on. And a lot of y'all don't know it's that advanced, but it is. You got to understand the way the Elise work with CGI technology. You got to understand. All, yeah, the manager. Yeah, all of them was on. All of them was. All of them got paid good. Asian dog got paid good. All them niggas except for Muwap got paid good. That was there that night. And uh, you know what I'm saying? And don't be surprised if they try to do something to the one that survived. The one that survived, I think his name was Louie. I think he's still in critical. Don't be surprised if they try to do something to him. You feel me? That's how they do. Just like, just like with FBG Duck. I'm gonna make one for about Duck. Notice how everybody around Duck that knew something about that shit. So shit starting to happen to them and shit. All right, so it's a it's a lot deeper than what you think. It's a lot deeper than what you think, and that's why that's why when I started this video off, I said King Von never was like Tupac or nothing. So why is his name grabbing everybody's attention so hard even after his death? His shit going harder than Pop Smoke. King Von name is going harder than Pop Smoke. Niggas damn near forgot about Pop Smoke. It seemed like even in New York. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Like, listen, man. You don't see no spiritual teachers like Guy Hagen and other ones like that. You don't see all them talking about. I've seen, no disrespect, I've seen human beings make videos saying King Von contacted them and shit. Like, nigga, you, nigga, you, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Why would he contact you? Like, you ain't never been in no neighborhood. Nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? But that's how big his name in then got. You get what I'm saying? Because that's that's his soul. His spirit is strong. So he's calling everybody from the Astros because they did him dirty and they ain't letting his spirit go. Now, if they was to let his spirit go, he would stop calling everybody. You see what I'm saying? But when I say Dirk did him dirty because he built him up to get his adrenal, the adrenal chrome off him. So when, when Vaughn got killed, he was at the hype. Remember what happened? His album was finna drop that night. His debut album, Welcome to O Block. All of that. So he was at his highest point. And that's how the elites like to do you. They have to kill you when you're at your highest because your body releases all these chemicals. And remember, the elites are reptilians. They eat you. They eat and drink your blood. Why y'all think Nas X, the new shoes uh, that he did with Nike, got 1% human blood in it? Where you think that blood came from? The little kids, they sex trafficked. I'm trying to tell y'all this shit's sick. And this shit go on all in Hollywood. That's what I'm trying to... I'm giving y'all facts. That's why Dirk had to sacrifice Vaughn. Because Hollywood is sick. For him to really get to that next level, he had to do something like prophetic. So he gave them Vaughn when Vaughn got out of jail. Vaughn just ain't know it. That's why FBG Duck was able to say... Look this. How you think Duck knew this? Let me show y'all something. Y'all want to keep not believing that Dirk sacrificed King Vaughn. How you think FBG Doug knew this? Let's roll the tape. Let's roll the tape. We finna roll some tape. YouTube TV has no hidden fees. We finna roll I'm some tape. How did FBG... Now, I'm telling y'all, hold on. I'm telling y'all, before I even play it, that King Von was a sacrifice from the moment he got out of jail. Y'all don't hear me. The whole thing was a stage build up to sacrifice the man. They never intended for that man to live past that night. He wasn't out of jail that long. He just got out. 
He ain't had no years running this shit. The man just got out, just started turning up, and boom, they knocked him off his square. That was dirt. Not, not. Lil Dirt could have made a different sacrifice, but the reason him sacrificing Vine helped his career so much, which is why Dirk having such a big year, is because that he helped. He actually built up Vine. So he actually like they. You get more credit for that type of sacrifice in Hollywood. Like if you just give up a, a person right then and there, that's cool. But if you give them a person that they can actually build up more to get more adrenal chrome out of them, more of that chemical release, that blood flow. It makes the it makes it makes the blood sweeter. Like see these reptilians, they like to eat your blood when you feeling good. Cause when you feeling good, you release these chemicals in your bloodstream, and it makes your blood taste sweet to them. So this is why they like killing kids. This is why they like killing kids and eating kids and like women specifically, or carbonated beings who are very happy or like high, releasing high emotions. You get what I'm saying? So that's why they elected to kill Vaughn like right at the height. Of his of his of his career because it was a part of Dirk's it was a sacrifice from jump. Now when the baby sacrificed his daddy, that wasn't a built up sacrifice. That was like he he was coming into the industry. They like hey he what I gotta do, man shit you gotta do this. All right, and he just gave his dad up. That's he didn't build his dad up. Dirk built Von up, so it was like a baby. It's like a newborn baby. He gave the elite to newborn baby. So they, you know what I'm saying? Facts. And then, like, you know what I'm saying? So once he did that, and then they trapped his soul and spirit is still here. And, like, see, a lot of people at Von family might not even know that, especially if they're not vibrating high and they're not tapped into themselves. They might not know that the government sit here and, and they didn't, they didn't, you know what I'm saying? What they didn't deal with his remains. And not just King Von remains, but every single black person or Latino person on this planet that they, they dies. You know what I'm saying? They eat, they eat the remains. They drink the blood. This is what they do. All right? So you got to understand blood sacrificing in Hollywood and why they even wanted to be a blood sacrifice. These same reptilians made the Bible. All right? For those of you who are out there wondering about like Lil Nas X shoes, that's why it's blood in it because the elites drink blood, nigga. They told you in the Bible they drink blood. I told y'all when you worship religion, you worshiping Satan. Satan is the god of religion. You know what I'm saying? His real name is Zeus. I told y'all that. Why you think in the Bible, they tell you that if you want everlasting life, you should eat the flesh and drink the blood of who? Jesus Christ. And how do you say Jesus in Spanish? Hey, Zeus. Right. I told y'all that already. So blood sacrificing is all in the Bible. You just never thought about it. They, they, you never thought about that, did you? In, their own, in the Bible, Satan the real God of the Bible is Satan, y'all. That's scary shit, ain't it? You're like, damn, the whole time you think you're worshiping God, you're worshiping Satan. Yes. The real God of the Bible is Satan, nigga. Why you think they say, if you drink my flesh, if you eat my flesh, think about it. Eat my flesh and drink my blood, you will have forever lasting life. And that's what the elites believe. So that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? So when you like, well... Why would King, why would Lil Durk sacrifice King Von? Because he's, he's, Lil Durk is a part of an industry that's ran by the, by the reptilian elite. And that's what they into, drinking your motherfucking blood. So, if you want to get ahead in Hollywood and you want to really get big, you got to give up some blood, nigga. Facts. This is the game. Nigga, this ain't, this ain't new. I know y'all done heard this shit before, so don't act like you have it. Now, about sacrificing in Hollywood. Now, I'm about to play this video, right? And this video is going to expose to you how this man, how did FBG duck? Hold on. Now, check game. This video was released March 2nd, 2020, right? We know King Von died the, like later that year, right? How did he know this? Listen to this part. Hold on. Hold on. 
I get fries, nigga, play with me, somebody dies. I'm here, gang, 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 to start a riot. A lot of bullets flying, all these motherfucking crazy stories. Fucking legend, try to strip a bitch. She from Minnesota, while I was bending her over. Hold on. It's coming up. Hold on. I'm trying to get to the part. Hold on. There you go. Okay, here we go. Listen to this. Listen to this. They might sell that shit to y'all, but won't sell me that shit. You, you a sacrifice. He said you get bodies. Basically, he just signed you over to the Illuminati. You heard him? Now, he just said you a sacrifice. He sent you to get body. Basically, he just signed you over to the Illuminati. And he was talking about Vaughn because they had their little words that was going back and forth at that time. How he know that? You better pay attention. And he also talked about how they trying to get him to sell his soul. He just clearly said, they tried to tell me, don't say nothing. I just can't keep quiet. He already knew about King Von's sacrifice that was coming up. Because that's how the elites work. When they going to sacrifice you, this shit, they, it be already like talked about amongst the industry. This should be like an event. This shit is sick. Nigga, when they sacrifice motherfuckers, the elites put that shit on TV and everybody in the industry be already knowing about that shit. And then that's why they all take the social media and they put the post up. That be all part of the ritual. You know how when somebody, when a celebrity die and everybody start, other celebrities start posting that celebrity and that be all part of the ritual. They be having to do that to confirm to the elite that they witnessed the, witnessed the sacrifice. And it be all part of their oath. These are the secrets that they start to build with one another that, that ties them into the, to the family. So that's how he knew that that was going to happen. But like he said in the song, they try to tell me, don't say nothing, I can't keep quiet. That's the real reason he got killed. Everybody think other people did in the O Block, but I'm going to say that for a different video. <laughs> no. He exposed to King Von that he was a sacrifice. It's just Von ain't know what the fuck was going on. Why you think he said that back to back like that? Think it's a coincidence, huh? Now, check this out. Hey, babe, you good now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, Check this out. So, yeah, the industry is sick, right? So, that they they killed Duck, but that'll be a different video. So, look, what we gonna do is right now. Now, check this song out. Check this song out by King Von. Now, this is the song where they was putting the lyrics in his head because he was under hypnosis, nanotechnology, activated his nanobot. He's not aware of this because he's vibrating low. He's just a regular young guy from the hood who didn't got some money. See, a lot of times what they do to y'all, they like to use Hollywood. Know that we don't be having money coming from the, from the hood because they set it up that way. So what they do is they use the money to blind your soul. They try to do me that way. I'm telling y'all, if y'all going to rap or be actors, models, you ain't got to believe me. They, yeah, they, they said they kill left eye too. Look, you ain't got to believe me, y'all. I sat down with these people before. This shit is real, man. This shit is real. If you want to go into this life, my nigga, I'm telling you what to expect. Now, if you went to sacrificing people and doing shit, because some of y'all is. Some of y'all is, you know, and that, that's going to put you on the side with them and we're going to be on your ass. You see what I'm saying? Because, see, this is just the material plane. This shit ain't forever. We in a spiritual plane. We forever in a spiritual plane. In the astral plane, we that's forever. The body goes back to the soil, but the soul and spirit, that which we are, never dies. We are immortal beings. So you can play them games in this physical, you're going to have to see us again. That's what I'm saying. When you sell out and you sell your soul, you just say, get yourself an ass whooping for, for all energy cycles, nigga. 
you got to see us again. You know what I'm saying? But look, so they did Von, you know, they Von Bennett, man. You know what I'm saying? They did him so dirty, you know what I'm saying? Did the God so dirty, man, because he really did have a good spirit. They Von, they Von Bennett, he had a great spirit and a great soul. And it's showing how strong it was. Like a lot of people will look at it like what they heard about him in the streets and shit like that. But me coming from the streets, so what that mean? I don't have a good spirit and soul. I was out there too thugging and being wild. You might not have heard about it, but I was too like that at a point in time. And those who know me know that. So me knowing that, I know that has nothing to do with your spirit and soul. I give back to the homeless once a month now. And I don't even record it. I'm about to start though. But every month I give back to the homeless with my earnings. You know what I'm saying? I sit here every, I get on here, give y'all lessons, talk to y'all all the time. Been doing this for a whole year. You know what I'm saying? For my people to give y'all a true history, like real facts about shit. So wake y'all eyes up to this matrix and, and, and break these light codes. You hear me? So that mean I got a good soul and a good spirit. That's who I am. He had a good soul and a good spirit and a strong soul and a spirit, which is why all y'all requested this video and why he been working through so many other people to keep his name afloat like that. You know what I'm saying? That's him doing that. Understand who doing that. This ain't me. This ain't us doing it. That's him working through us, keeping his name afloat. You know what I'm saying? All right, so um, listen to this hook. And when you listen to this hook, I know a lot of y'all who maybe listen to his music. I know y'all gonna been and heard the song, but a lot of us on my channel, we don't vibrate low, so we don't be listening to that type of music no more really like that. You know what I'm saying? I listen to this shit every now and then, you know what I'm saying? Because it was him, you know what I'm saying? And I understand it, but I try to stay off that frequency because I know what's inside of the beat. You know what I'm saying? They put shit in the frequencies. And, and rappers don't even know that. This is shit they do though. But listen to this, listen to this hook. And even this video was all like a farewell. You know what I'm saying? Like they knew they was gonna kill him. Certain words they put in his head, nanobot technology. Listen to him. Listen to this hook. What? All right, so check again. Did you hear what he just said? You heard what he just said? I am what I am, and what I'm not, see, I never be. You see what I'm saying? Niggas woofing. You hold on, we're gonna play it back. We're gonna play it back. Hold on. I'm, before I quote him, I'm gonna let him quote himself. And think about what happened to him. Think about what happened to him. Hold on. Think about what happened to him in the way that he. Hold on, hold on. Think about how they say it happened to him. Because that ain't what happened to him. What they showed y'all, that ain't how it went. All right. That's what they showed y'all. CGI technology. That was a cold killing sacrifice. Now, look. Look how they showed y'all it went and listen to what he finna say out of his mouth. Listen to what he's what he's spell casting out of his mouth. What? Squad. I am what I am. What I'm not, see, I never beat. Niggas whooping up until we meet. Catch him like for him on TV. So he told you, niggas woofing it up till we meet. Alright? Catch him lacking for him on TV. Alright, so when he say niggas woofing it up till we meet. Who he talking about? You like, okay, well, he talking about Quando Rondo. You said they already got that situation pre-programmed in your head because they already showed y'all the fake beef, MK Ultra, that they had used leading up to that. Because they, they were saying it started with him and NBA Youngboy, then Quando Rondo said something, and then him, it was him and Quando Rondo. But it's footage you can go back not that long ago, six months, I mean, well, six months before he got killed, though, a year before he got killed, him and Quando Rondo was kicking it. So, so what changed so quick? Understand when shit was something is staged and MK Ultra and learn how to break down light codes. You see what I'm saying? They flat out didn't kill this man, stole this man's soul and energy, right? They didn't kill this man, right? Skilt God, stole his soul and energy. You hear me? Stole his soul and energy. You hear me? His soul and energy. And now they're harnessing his soul and energy and making money off his soul and energy. Right in front of everybody's face. Right in front of everybody's face, man. People don't peep that. All right? There's no way you say them words like that and it play out like that. Now, a lot of people will say this. 
Well, he spoke it into existence. No, that ain't what happened right there, though. You can speak things into existence. True. True. But to speak it into existence, it takes more than just speaking it into existence. You have to, med you have to meditate. You have to be uh, envisioning, speak, and, and also saying it, and also putting the action into it. And you have to say it over and over again. You have to make it more of a ritual for it to manifest. All right? You don't just say it once and be. That's not how manifestation works. Me being a person that manifests everything I have, this is what I teach, prosperity, magic, manifest manifestation, manifesting things, you know, all this type of stuff, history, I teach this, science, esoterics, uh, esoteric science, metaphysics, this is what I teach, right? So I'm telling you right now, he did not, you feel me? He did not speak that into existence. All right, that was nanotech, nanobot technology. All right, where they altered his pineal gland, and now they got him under a state of hypnosis, and then they're using him to channel certain thoughts through him. All right, so a lot of people aren't aware of this, right? Because this is this is technology that your government has that they don't tell you about. All right, so. Being able to use him and have him under state of hypnosis, they are able to push certain words out through him while he making his music. All right, and it's it's really tricky, right? It all deals with like science. You know what I'm saying? It's like nanobot technology deals with like them tapping into the like the neurochemistry of your brain. Um, you know what I'm saying? Tapping into your nervous system. You know, altering your chromosomes, altering your genetics. You know what I'm saying? Like they was already starting to try to like they was already tampering with him under that under that frequency, right? So on this song right here, on this song right here, right? Listen to what he, when he's saying this. When he's saying this. So boom, he say the whole hook is about the Quando Rondo shit. If you not have your eyes closed, that's what it seems like. But that's what the whole hook is about. It's like him saying like this business big build up to this night that he meet up with Quando Rondo. Because at the time, his fans know, right, that they was already having words. Right? It was already a little in the air. They already had gave you that. They already set you up for the Watusi. All right? Yeah, definitely they control the weather, too. Definitely they control the weather. I teach that on this channel. I got a bunch of videos about that. But understand they already set you up because they already got the fans in there looking. They already knowing that they're going back and forth. Okay? So when he's sitting here and he's saying these lyrics, it's like a showdown. It's like a promotion for a showdown. You're not listening to the lyric. It's like a promotion for a showdown. I am what I am. What I'm not, see, I never be. Niggas woofing it up till we meet. Catch him lacking, put him on TV. But who ended up getting put on TV, though? He did. Right? Then he said, and did what he told you. And if I should die, right? I'm boosting the murder rate. My niggas gonna slide every day because that part of his brain and his soul is believing like, okay, shit, my guy's gonna be loyal to me and they gonna go, they gonna do for me what I would do for them because he would do that for them. All right? So when he like, if I should die, I'm boosting the murder rate. My niggas gonna slide every day. He been talking that shit, I can't wait. Actions of who he's talking about. You're going to immediately say he's talking about Quando Rondo. Right? Because they were going back and forth. But it, so it was a promotion. It was a promotion. It was a build up. It was a build up for that night. Listen to the words. It was a build up. It was a build up. Now. The stage is set. 
The showdown is set, people. We got it right now. King Von, Quando Rondo, whenever they meet, whenever they link, it's going down. Because he's been talking that shit and Von can't wait. Because he is what he is and what he not, he'll never be. And, you know, Quando been la woofing it up. You know what I'm saying? You hurt. So, so when they meet, we know what Von on. You see how the stage is set? Even with you feeling like as a fan, and if something do happen to Vaughn, shit, all his niggas gonna ride for him. The stage is set. Social engineering by the elites. Blood sacrifice, all set up by yours truly. Dirk, yo. Now, Let's get to the night of the shooting, right? The night of the shooting, they showed you one camera angle, and I'm not gonna show that video. We ain't gonna do all that. We seen all that. That that's respect to the family and him. I feel like people that post like people that didn't pass away and show all that, like I feel like that's doing too much. That people that didn't transcended is still a respect that come with it, especially if it, it came in that type of it came in a violent a violent act. You know what I'm saying? All right, so uh, the night of the incident, the stage is already set. So you telling me two main rappers like Quando Rondo and King Von is beefing, and it just so happened that at the night of King Von's, at the night of King Von's um, album release party, Quando Rondo is there? Why would Quando Rondo be at King Von's album release party? I don't know if y'all know that or not, but that was King Von. Like, for those who don't know, I don't know, because, like, you know, everybody don't, you know, pay attention. That was King Von's album release party. You feel me, Reflection? That was King Von album release party, y'all. Why would Quando Rondo be there? Why would he be at King Von's album release party and they already beefing? How is he even, al even allowed to sit there in the parking lot? So the security and the bouncers at the club or the club owners don't know they beefing. And are you telling me the club owners don't know Quando Rondo outside neither, huh? He's just a regular nigga outside, huh? He's sitting VIP on the side where only boss niggas can sit on the side of Monaco. <laughs> Go back and look at the van or the Sprinter or the truck, white, whatever they was in. <laughs> you feel me? They know this already before they even get there. Before they even get there. Listen, man. Think about it. we thinking, y'all. We thinking. We thinking right now. I right? we thinking. Let me see that back. And you would like this, please. We thinking, y'all. We thinking, y'all. We thinking. Let's think now while we still can. Let's think right now while it's not illegal. It's not illegal yet. It's not illegal yet, y'all. So we just thinking. We just thinking. We thinking. We just thinking, y'all. We thinking. We just asking questions. You know what I'm saying? Why would he even be there? Why would he even be there? Why is he even allowed to sit there? This... All right. So now, Von and them get there. You know how it go. I don't have to go into details. We all know what they say what happened when he got there. We know what they showed. All right. Okay. Now, check this out. The biggest thing that should let y'all know, right? I don't even got to go into the details of what happened once Vaughn got there. Like I said, I'm not here to do all that. I'm not going to be, yeah, do you know he get out the car, nigga? You know, they squared up. He went in on him. Do you know? He came out. I'm not going to do all that. You see what I'm saying? I like to just stick to the.
point sometimes, you know what I'm saying, to stay focused on the main thing. Kayvon get, get, you know, his soul get deported. It, it go down by the, in the street. Everybody saying Quando Rondo did it. Quando Rondo, Quando Rondo, Quando Rondo, um, kind of turns out it ain't Quando Rondo. So he get away from that bullet. It's his homie, Lil Tim. Okay, so they're like, Lil Tim did it. Okay, cool. So Lil Tim did it. Now, the whole time Lil Tim in jail, you know, the internet in flames. They, they wondering when, when something going to happen and this and that, all this, all this drama going on, right? Meanwhile, it's all an image. It's all a staged image, right, for the media. That's the staged image for the media, for the fans, to make people think people is dying behind what happened to King Von, all right? Um, I believe Lil Durk even rapped in a song, you know? If I'm not mistaken, Lil Durk said in a song, you know what I'm saying? Tell the truth about your book, book his ass for a show. I wish he would come. Tell the truth about your gang. They really dying. All right, so now when everybody see Quando Rondo kind of stopped doing shows, so that made Dirk image look bigger, right? And it made it look like Quando Rondo was getting like, you know, punked a little bit with the whole time. Listen, man, Quando Rondo is in on it with Dirk and them. You see what I'm saying? The shooter in the back to kill Vaughn wasn't even Lil Tim. You feel me? They had, they had already showed you Little Tim on social media in that outfit earlier in that day to make you think that that was Little Tim because it was all staged. Little Tim was the... When something is staged, everybody has a role. So Little Tim was, was, the, was the shooter. Hey, you the shooter. You the one that's going down. All right? When this shit hit the fan, we're going to say you the one that went down. So that's going to make Little Tim rep look better. They're like, oh, he the one killed Vaughn, right? And then... Far as Quando Rondo, yeah, we gonna make it like you was getting beat on, so we gonna help you be the ones. That's how you gonna escape the whole thing. You see what I'm saying? Because any other way, then it falls on Quando, right? So, oh, okay, Dirk. They had Dirk. Dirk was shooting a video with, I think, back in blood. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong. Somebody correct me in the comments, cause I could be wrong. But if I'm not mistaken, the night Von died, wasn't Dirk shooting a video? Somebody answer that. Was Dirk or was Dirk not shooting the video? Was he not shooting back in blood with Pooh Shiesty? Was they shooting the video to back in blood? Or am I tripping? Somebody help me out now. What was they doing that night? Did the video come out that night? Get Jeezy Lee said, nah. Oh, uh, we gonna mention now, we gonna get to that. Okay, that's what it was. That's when Back in Blood dropped. Thank you. Okay, so Dirk was on live when that happened, but Back in Blood dropped that night. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you. I know it was something like that. So, yeah, see, we vibing here. You see, I read the comments. So I'm catching like, okay, I, okay, cool. Somebody let me know what's going on because I want the, we need the real story to flow. We need the real story to flow. All right? So, Everybody already had their little roles set up, all right? Now, to a lot of people, that might sound like some bullshit, right? But when Lil Tim just got out on bond, now all y'all got questions. That's how this video got made today. Everybody had questions, all right? Now... Lil Tim got out on bond because he was in on it. He wasn't even a shooter. You know what I'm saying? That was a professional that they had to shoot him to make sure that they killed him. All right? Everything else was staged. Other than Muwap, everybody else was pretty much in on it that was with him. You know what I'm saying? That's why he was the only one that went back to really try to help him. Period. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? He probably confused within himself, and I just ain't said it to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know Muwap. But he probably, you know, shout out to him, though. You hear me? Went back, you know what I'm saying? Because he was on some loyal shit. That's his man. He ain't, he ain't on nothing about none of that shit. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying?
it's it's crazy because Vaughn never seen that shit coming. You know what I'm saying? Like he really loved dirt. You feel me? And I ain't gotta be around him to know that. I'm in the Astros with it, so I know that. And then you can just you could if the energy like even with Vaughn going to the old block and put giving his people chains and like you know you know good you know good real shit when you see it. You know what I'm saying? You know. I come from I come from a neighborhood. People don't give back to shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas get their money, they go do them. You know, so anytime somebody get a little something and they give back, that say a lot. Um, you know, about who he was. You feel me? You gotta read through the light codes, you know what I'm saying? Also, you gotta remember they had a case together in Atlanta. Vaughn and Dirk had a case. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't even be around each other, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, that was all part of the sacrifice too. You know the, you know getting rid of Vaughn. You know what I'm saying when, when, when like okay for example the sacrifice was already set up from jump. You feel me? It was all stage, but the fact that they did have a case together, you know that that played that another that also played another role because like okay, then we go. I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of get rid of him. You know what I'm saying? Just to make sure I'm good, good. You know what I'm saying? Like he said. Like he said. Look, hold on. Look, man. Like he told y'all, man. Listen, man. Like he told y'all, man. You feel me? They they had a whole case, man. So getting rid of Vine, watch he beat the case. He gon' he gonna beat that case. What? He is gonna beat that case, man. Look, check this out, right? No, hold on. See, look. Look, you think niggas just rapping. Hold on. Listen, when he say this little line, yeah, it sound good over the beat, and y'all rapping, and y'all rapping. Somebody talking about some don't play that. And y'all rapping, but you don't really know what he mean when he say this. Hold on. Listen. When he say this line, hold on. Right here. Yeah, all right. So look. When he say in that line right there, a lot of y'all don't really even know how deep that shit go. See what I'm saying? You know, Pussy, you, I'm really shysty. <laughs> Look, man, I'm from Chicago. A lot of y'all don't know it ain't. It ain't. You don't want to be shysty, nigga. Like I don't. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's no disrespect to nobody. I never known when it was cool to be shysty. Like a shysty motherfucker was always like, "Damn, you shysty." You know what I'm saying? I you ain't want to be around no shysty motherfucker. You know they wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? So. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all better, like, I don't know, man. I don't know what's to this new generation and shit. Like, I can't even say new generation. Like, I like, like everybody just under like whole lockdown. Let me just say that. Like, motherfuckers just out there asleep. Like, motherfuckers just, like, all type of shit is triggered right now that ain't supposed to even be being said. Like, like, I didn't know being shysty was cool. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that was no real shit. You know what I'm saying? Just like when motherfuckers say, I'm a back door. I see a lot of niggas talking about back door this, back door that. I never knew back doing your homies and shit was cool. How was that cool to, to kill your people or back door your homies? Like, he even came out. Like, listen, man. Man, y'all better go listen to this man music, man. He putting that shit in the music too. Like, and then like, yeah, I ain't even gotta get into like that. I already know that, you know, you know, motherfucking Vaughn had a little shit going on with Mister. I know that too. And, you know, like, yeah, 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 it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, but so I ain't gotta get into that, you know what I'm saying? But You know, when he's saying that line, he mean that, all right? And it's it's deeper than, you know what I'm saying, just a, just a sacrificing because, you know, with with the sacrificing, right? With it being a 33 parallel sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? 
it took up a lot of frequency. So by taking up frequency, that, that means it's going to eventually take up space in the ethers. And that's what it did. So that's why it's like in everybody's minds. It's taking up a lot of the youth mind, especially y'all's in the university. It's grabbing a lot of attention. But at the same time, it's also grabbing a lot of attention because you got to understand what's going on right now. Hollywood is coming down. So all this truth is coming out. It ain't just me. Like, there, what's happening is well, King Von Sacrifice is being used to expose just what's going on in Hollywood, period. This is deeper than, this is way bigger than Dirk Sacrifice and King Von. Like, this shit go for, like, the whole Hollywood and, like, just corporate America at the top, period. Like, all the satanic ritualistic shit that they be doing. You get what I'm saying? It's way deeper than that. That's why this matters. You know what I'm saying? For those who watch and you're probably like, well, why does this matter? If you think you're on this cosmic channel, you're like, well, what is this? Yeah, because this affects the ethereals. This affects the, 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 the space and matter around you. You know what I'm saying? This affects that because this shit is coming down. Everything is coming out. So even if you didn't know him personally or listen to his music, just get the lesson that's going on from the from from the situation this ain't just with him a lot of artists do this shit a lot of people do this shit you feel me a lot of people do this shit you know what i'm saying like and then like i say y'all going and and y'all buying y'all going and y'all buying the um the merch and shit like buying the, the v-ray merch when this man didn't get down on him though you feel me? So it's like, and a lot of people don't want to say it because they scared to say it. Like, man, fuck, man, a motherfucker be tripping. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all already know this shit. A lot of y'all know, man. Y'all know motherfucker, man, he be sacrificing motherfuckers. He fucking with the people. Y'all know that shit. Motherfuckers just don't want to say it, man. Motherfuckers be scared to say it. Motherfuckers don't want to say it. You feel me? Y'all know, y'all know that. You feel me? Y'all know that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all that's watching know that. You know what I'm saying? It's just y'all don't want to say it or y'all don't want to accept it. And this go, this is what's going on right now in the country. And look, I'm going to let y'all watch this video right now, right? This video I'm going to let y'all watch is going to further conclude everything I said. Now, this is from a, a YouTuber. Um, um, What is his name? Hold on. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So look, now this video I'm gonna let y'all watch, right? Hold on, before I play it, before I play it, this video comes from a YouTuber. I'm gonna shout him out because this ain't my video originally, but I'm gonna use his video to help, you know, further sum up everything. I'm telling y'all now, this is a YouTuber name about to be deleted for the 20th time by YouTube Nazis. All right, so... Uh, he's a human being. I don't know where he's from, but he made a video called Rapper King Von Kilt for LeBron James and Los Angeles Lakers NBA Finals. King Album Rich. All right. Now, I've never seen this, this video a day in my life. I already knew what I'm telling y'all, right? And I was led to this video. Now, when you when you when I show y'all this video right here, right? And if you already seen it, then you can just leave. Or whatever, you can sit through it, but I need y'all to see it who haven't seen it so you can understand that what I'm telling y'all is real. All right, I seen this video, this was sent to me literally like yesterday in an email, and I already knew all this stuff though. So, this video only is finna further prove to you that you know King Von was a sacrifice from by Little Dirt. All right. That's real. Watch this. All right. Welcome back, True Seeker. It is Friday, November 6, 2020. And in the news today, the death of rapper King Vaughn. Jonathan's been talking about this rapper throughout the year and how he's expected him to die. And um, Jonathan even called this back in March when his album came out. He said, it looks like King Vaughn will probably be the next sacrifice for LeBron James. Well, I don't know if he was technically the next. But it's not hard to see what happened here. This is another ritual sacrifice of a human being. And if you're not aware of who this person is, his his rap fame is from bragging about killing other people. So a lot of people will look at this and say, well, this guy had what got what he had coming. But I want people to understand this was a ritual that went down today. And I don't really know anything about Pay this attention. or his street cred or his 
murder credits, but I know that this guy's death today is another ritual for LeBron James, something we've been proving with countless celebrities now, hold for on. years. And this is now, hold on. now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get something understood. I only want y'all to listen to the numerology part. I don't like, you know what I'm saying? Let me get that understood right now. Just listen to the numerology part of what he's saying. Like, when he get to talk about it, it was strictly just for LeBron James, he's completely off with that. The only reason that it's linking back to LeBron James is because LeBron James is one of the main gatekeepers for the boule. All right? So, you know what I'm saying? LeBron James is the gatekeeper. So, LeBron James shot at King Von out. And that's why all this shit connects together. But... I'm going to let him talk. Now, anything he say that I feel might like lose y'all, I'll pause and flip the camera around like I just did. Well, pay attention, though, because he going to basically make everything I'm saying make even more sense because he did the numerology. He not from Chicago. He don't know nothing about what's going on. Like he clearly told you, he never listened to the man music. And I never seen this video before yesterday, before one of y'all sent it to me, wanted me to do this video. Pay attention. Pay attention. The easiest one there ever was to do. I'm just going to start right here. Earlier this year, he put out this album, and this was March 6th, the 66th day of the year. And we said, look at this. Here, here's more predictive programming for the Lakers finals because the NBA season wasn't canceled yet. The, the NBA finals were start set to begin on June 4th, 6-4. This guy puts out the album King Vaughn, like King James in a 64 jersey. And up on the clock, you can also see that there's 64 minutes left on the game clock, which isn't real in basketball. You don't have a 64-minute clock. Pay attention. But King Vaughn in real life represents 64th Street in Chicago. And now he's dead on the 311th day of 2020, November 6th, which is the 64th prime number. 311, the 64th. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to play that back. I'm going to start that over. You... You hear that, man? He going in. All right? He hitting y'all with the gematria, though. I already knew how this from the Astros. He hitting y'all with the gematria. All right? So, combine what I said, I'll give y'all the Chicago stories. I've been to jail out of there. I gave y'all that. I gave y'all everything. I'm telling y'all. And then listen to this shit. Get out. Yeah, thank you. Get out the Matrix, y'all. Get out the Matrix. Wake up, man. This is real. This is really going on. Pay attention. Pay attention. I'm going to let him go all the way in this time. I ain't going to stop it. And in the news today, technically the next, but it's not hard to see what happened here. This is another ritual sacrifice of a human being. And if you're not aware of who this person is, his, his rap fame is from bragging about killing other people. So a lot of people will look at this and say, well, this guy had what got what he had coming. But I want people to understand this was a ritual that went down today. And I don't really know anything about this person or his street cred or his murder credits. But I know that this guy's death today is another ritual for LeBron James. Something we've been proving with countless celebrities for years. And this is probably the easiest one there ever was to do. I'm just going to start right here. Earlier this year, he put out this album. And this was March 6th the 66th day of the year and we said look at this Here, here's more predictive programming for the lakers finals because the nba season wasn't canceled yet the, the nba finals were start set to begin on june 4th 6-4 this guy puts out the album king vaughn like king james in a 64 jersey and up on the clock you can also see that there's 64 minutes left on the game clock which isn't real in basketball you don't have a 64 minute clock but King Vaughn in real life represents 64th Street in Chicago. And now he's dead on the 311th day of 2020, November 6th, which is the 64th prime number. 311, the 64th prime. King Vaughn, Mr. 64, dead on this day. And let's just go through it because there's a lot of layers to this ritual. So again, the first layer is November 6th, the 311th day of the leap year, the 64th prime. His birth name, Devon Bennett, 64. Again, in his album, he put 64. This is his newest album, too, that came out earlier this year. He put 65 twice on the cover. Again, he claims 64th Street. He reps himself as a killer. We see a lot of patterns with celebrity death in 64. The word kill equals 64. Then the other piece of this is notice that November 6th is the day leaving 55 days left in the year. 55. And 
as we'll get to in a moment, he's dead 55 days from LeBron's upcoming birthday. LeBron's 36th birthday, like how his album came out on 3-6. But notice King James is 55. Don't forget Kobe's memorial this year was on the 55th day of the year, February 24th. And we talked about how that day, how Los Angeles Lakers and blood sacrifice equals 257, the 55th prime. So 55 is a number that relates to sacrifice as well. The, the word Satan also equals 55. Do y'all hear this shit? Another King James tribute from King Von you see how it is? birthday to his death is 89 days later. Remember when the Warriors lost to LeBron on the real King James's birthday, June 19th? They lost with 89 points. 89. Pay so attention. You know, King James has a Bible named after him. The gospel, the story of Jesus is 89 chapters. And we know it's the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, who run the world of sports, the world of hip-hop, who off these entertainers by the numbers. But King Vaughn, dead on the day, leaving 55 days left in the year, dead 89 days after his 8-9 birthday, King James 89 with the alphabetic order. When you run the alphabetic order in reverse with the rules of numerology, it's 55. Again, just straightforward, logical ciphers. And consider this man's dead on 11 slash 6. His alias on his latest album is LeVon James, a play on LeBron James, or King LeVon. But no, it's LeVon James with the alphabetic order, 116, 11 slash 6. They might name Joe Biden the president today, and his son died at age 46, 116 days after his birthday. As we'll get to in a moment, execution's 116. So this number fits in with the ritual they're doing with Joe Biden today. But notice the gematria of LeVon James, 116, 35, 154, 55, and again. That's just like King James, which is 35, 154, and 55. Ritual sacrifice also equals 154. I've seen a lot of people die over the years in connection to LeBron by these exact numbers you see on the screen. 35, 154, 55. This man dead on the day leaving 55 days left in the year, 55 days from LeBron's birthday. 55 days from LeBron's birthday. From the release of his album, again, his album, this one, King Von. Ain't no coincidence, y'all. Earlier this year, and like we said, this 64 is not an accident. The finals were scheduled for June 4th at the time before they got rescheduled, and they ended up, in, you know what they did with the NBA finals. They ended on Father Daughter Day, 41 weeks after LeBron's birthday, when Kobe Bryant's 41 on the day leaving 81 days left in the year, when Kobe Bean Bryant's 81. Just all these rituals, undeniable. Chadwick Boseman. On Jackie Robinson Day, the Dodgers win the World Series on the anniversary of Jackie Robinson's funeral, win it 4-2. All this stuff is done by the same people. And um, anyway, March 6th in a leap year is the 66th day of the year. LeBron, 66. LeBron James, 66. Lakers, 66. King and Jewish Gematria, 66. Always the 66 rituals with LeBron. First player to go to six straight finals since 66 when Bill Russell did it. So anyway, that, that album by this artist who's now dead came out on the 66th day of the year. And uh, from the release of that album, March 6, 2020, to the death on November 6th, notice it's 35 weeks. 35 weeks later, he's dead. LeVon James, 35, and the most pure cipher. King James, 35. Remember the day LeBron signed with the Lakers. I said he'd win the finals at age 35 in his 17th season, bringing home the Lakers the 17th championship after signing on 1-7, July 1st. So LeVon James, that 35 connection, dead while LeBron's 35. The death synced up with the 36th birthday of LeBron, like how the album came out on 3-6. 35 weeks after the album's release. And um, don't forget the real King James became a Freemason at age 35. So uh, they call LeBron King James. Pay attention. And King James, his son was King Charles. The people who fought for him in the English Civil War were Cavaliers. That's why they had LeBron, King James on the Cavs. And from the death to LeBron's birthday, if you don't count the span, it's 54 days later. But if you count the span of days from the day of his death to LeBron's upcoming birthday, it's a span of 50 days of a human being for LeBron's scripted NBA career. They say he was killed outside of a hookah lounge. And um, the name of that hookah lounge is the Monaco Hookah Lounge, which equals 193. That's the 44th prime number. I was just talking about how the other day, LeBron's high school basketball teammate, his sister was murdered exactly 44 weeks after LeBron's birthday. Kill 44. So in this case, 
King Vaughn's killed outside the Monica Hookah Lounge, which is 193, the 44th prime number. Again, these numbers are like peas in a pod. They come together all the time. Wrote a lot about this in my first book. But it's just another 44 connection. LeBron signed that monster deal with Nike while Nike was 44 years old as a company. And I said that day, I said, all this spells out is death. There'll probably be so many deaths for LeBron because of this. And LeBron probably won't live to be that, that old. And man, I've covered so many deaths in connection to LeBron over the years. It's just, it's mind numbing. But uh, the word execution with the alphabetic order is also 116, like November 6th, with the alphabetic order and rules of numerology, it's 44. Shootings also 44, reportedly shot to death on 11 slash six. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's undeniable. It is undeniable. Man, this could be the most blatant example yet, largely because of this album right here. Undeniable it's evidence. The 64th Street with the 64 birth name, with the King Vaughn 64 jersey, with 64 minutes on the clock. This album came out when the finals were supposed to start on 6-4. And don't remember, or, or excuse me, I'm tired, you guys. I've already slept, man. I've been up all night. But um, don't forget that it had the finals began on June 4th. That was 157 days after LeBron's birthday. I remember Kobe Bryant's 157, and he died on his 157th day of his age. And the All-Star game was paid in tribute to Kobe. And uh, they, they set the, the, the winning score at 157 points. The first team to score 157 won in the game dedicated to Kobe. That, uh, the Black Mamba short film with Kobe and Kanye West ends with the exploding hel helicopter. The caption on the top of that film in Gematria equals 157. 157 is the 37th prime, by the way. Los Angeles is 37. Chicago's 37. King Vong claims Chicago. Georgia also is 37. He was killed in Georgia, even though Chicago's a city. And, you know, I'll just throw this out there at the end. I, I The one thing I still don't know is if, if all these people really die or if some of them fake their death. But... Um, Regardless, it doesn't really matter. The, the rituals are dark, demented, and this is what it's all about. It's like a, uh, often one celebrity for another celebrity's gain, and so often that's LeBron, who's the king of the basketball world. All NBA is scripted around him every single year. And, um, yeah, shout out to Jonathan. So, Jonathan was right on about this. He's been talking about King Vaughn. And all right, so look. All right, so I just say with y'all. And I just talked with y'all for like an hour and a half or two hours maybe about how I gave y'all reasons for why Dirk was sacrificed. And I told you how the industry worked, why he would have to sacrifice and why he sacrificed him, right? I told y'all all that, right? And then I showed y'all a few songs. I wasn't finna play every album. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna do all that. You could go hear that on your own. But I played enough evidence. And I said, I talk with you, right? And then I just let him give y'all the gematria. Now, I could have broke the gematria down myself. I wasn't finna do all that, especially when he already got a video out for it. You could hit him up, whatever. Um, whatever. But that was still great information right there on the gematria side, on the numerology side. You get what I'm saying? How he broke that down like that, and he was showing you. Same thing I'm telling you. It's all staged. It was all staged. And Dirk... Him doing that put him in a position he's in now. And that also made him a gatekeeper in the industry. All right? And they are harnessing his soul and spirit in a studio in Atlanta. And they are still feeding off his frequency. That's a fact. That's what Queen Domain told y'all. That's a fact. So, now, why does that matter? Because we are in a frequency war. And you got a lot of youth that listen to this music. You got a lot of youth that don't know this. You got people with just... My my age, we 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 in our thirties, you know what I'm saying? We thirty, early thirties in our thirties. Don't know it. Most in their twenties don't know it. Most in their forties, fifties, sixties don't know this. And see, when you don't know this, everybody be what trying to get into Hollywood. You see how we we let each other get led into that Hollywood. Listen, man, don't chase that light, y'all. That shit, like, get out. You feel me? That's what get out was about, like Hollywood. Like, don't chase that light, cause that light is gonna lead you into darkness. And it ain't the pure darkness that we come from. It's a whole different type of darkness. You feel me? Like, 
Understand what I'm saying, reflection. Understand what I'm saying. That's a different type of darkness. You hear me? That's a different type of darkness. That's not the purity of where we come from. And being able to 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 see past the light codes, understanding that you are God, understanding that you you come from non ether, understanding that the battle was against us is why you must understand why that even matters about him. <clears throat> why that even matters about Lil Dirk sacrificing King Von. You feel me? Because see, people that's people that sleep, you know what I'm saying? When they vibrating low, you vibrating low. It don't, it don't connect with you. You don't see the reptilian presence. You don't see the Pleiadian presence. You don't, you don't see it because you are under like cold lockdown. You feel me? Like it's it's deeper. Like why 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 who did he sacrifice Lil Dirk to? I mean, who did he sacrifice Von to? What did they what did they really do to him? Why is Nas X coming out with shoes with blood in them? And you don't wanna you don't wanna accept that. See what I'm saying? And where did that blood come from that's in them shoes? That answer is the same reason that Lil Dirk sacrificed Von. You get what I'm saying? So at that point, and it's not just him. Many people did it. It's not just him. Many people did it. Period. You feel me? So. In this battle down here on this planet, you got humans, you got gods. You got metahumans, extraterrestrial races. You got a lot of different beings down here. This matrix falling down, whether you like, whether you, whether y'all want to accept it or not, this matrix is crumbling. That's why y'all on here tonight. That's why you was in here tonight, because this matrix is crumbling. All right? Somebody says I'm giving my power away. I can never give my power away. Reflection. Period. Stop commenting things that don't that don't even make sense. So, um, I am that I am. I'm everything. I can never give my power away. That's that. That's in part that that can never happen. My 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 power is is a power that's never ending. Reflection. I can never give it away. You hear what I'm saying? I, I come from the source reflection. I'm not a third dimensional being. All right, so stop raising your hand and saying ignorant things in the classroom or you will be moderated out the chat. Reflection. You know what I'm saying? What's wrong with you out there, man? Roll up or something. Roll up or something. Now, look, y'all came in here and shit, you feel me? And I know some of y'all might have y'all mind blown. And see... That's okay. That's that's the first step to growth. To have the mind. To have the mind blown. That's the first step to growth. These motherfuckers sick. These motherfuckers sick. Y'all, he be out there. That's why I want this need to come out. They drunk that man, blood, everything. I'm talking about Vine. They like the elites, all that, the whole nine. That's why I said he did them dirty. Y'all don't even know what they did to him. You feel me? Like it's deeper than just deeper than he. They just set him up to get the to soul deported from his avatar. No, even after that, they not letting his soul and spirit go. And then with his physical, the elites ate that and used that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, after they let his family see it and they, you know, casket and they. Ooh. No, nah, they get they did they handle they that really went to them for them to do they thing with. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, my bad. He said not me. Yeah, feel me? That was to them for them to do they thing with. And when you understand how they work, these elites, you you know, you know that that's not out the question. What I'm saying. Yeah, we multi-dimensional beings. We're not even from this planet. A lot of individuals don't know that, that we are not from this planet. We are multi-dimensional beings. So that's why it sounds crazy when you say sacrifice. It's like, why would they sacrifice them? Because
because we are not from this planet. It's, it's a lot that goes on that you've been lied to about. You know what I'm saying? You not from this planet. These trees not from this planet. Nothing around you is from this planet. You know what I'm saying? Nine ether beings. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? So, and there's many extraterrestrial races around us. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they have to make sacrifices to these, what we call the elites, are the reptilians. So when we send elites, we, we talk about the reptilians. We just don't, a lot of people don't know that they are reptilians because you have never heard about this species because it has been kept hidden from you along with everything else pertaining to your cosmic history. So, but a lot of these uh, entertainers is high up. They know about this. Why do you think Jay-Z said, I told my wife the spiritual shit really work? Like, they have to take, like, oaths. And they get introduced into what they call the occult. But the occult is nothing more than the esoteric teachings of us that's been kept hidden from the public. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to know how this all connects together. You got to know how this all connects together. You hear me? That's true. That's true. All life was brought here. All life was brought here. You hear me? All life was brought here. So, when Lil Durk and other artists and actors participate in the matrix and help the elite they're helping a big agenda that's why we talking about it. that's why i talked about it if it didn't affect the agenda the plan of what we doing i wouldn't talk about it like yeah like y'all gotta get out of hollywood that shit wrestling it's wrestling it's wrestling and it it disconnects you from the source. It disconnects you from self. You know what I'm saying? You know, the movies and stuff, like, when you and watch them, enjoy them. That's Jets. Just enjoy this shit. That's just enjoying the Matrix and the third density because, you know, you are supposed to enjoy every realm, but you should be fully aware of the realm and who you are and what you are. All right? YouTube be fucking with my live, so if y'all want to hear me live, join my website, www.theuci.online. Go subscribe. I got my own website. I'm going live, actually, starting tomorrow at 3.33 p.m. Eastern time. All right, because YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, they don't want y'all to hear this real shit. They be censoring me, fucking with the lives, all that. But what I'm saying is, think about what I'm telling you about the sacrifices and harnessing this energy because this shit is going on. This underground sex trafficking, all this ties into why he was sacrificed. All this is a part of what the elites do. And it's imperative that you understand that the elites are these draconian reptilians and these Pleiadians. And if you've never heard of them, then now you need to get dive deeper. You need to be in this university more. You see what I'm saying? You need to be up in here more. You feel me? And for those on the university right now, y'all in here, you already know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? You need to be up in this university more so you can learn about these different extraterrestrial races, so you can learn about the different species on the planet. You got gods, you got demigods, you got metahumans, you got humans. You know what I'm saying? We are all not the same on this planet. You know what I'm saying? Like, you better know that. Genetics proves that. Molecular biology proves that. Metaphysics proves that. Physics proves that. You hear what I'm saying? Chemistry proves that. All right? The, the atmosphere of our planet has been altered. So the people that altered our planet, our atmosphere is the same people that's controlling you through Hollywood. So you need to see that these, stop worshiping these fucking celebrities and these motherfuckers, these, a lot of their ass not right. Now I can't say every single celebrity is like that, but I'm gonna say like 95% of them, 90% of them. And it's really like, to be honest, it's really like as far as you want to go. So you, I really can't even say 95% because for celebrities that work like this, like I say, it's levels to it. So it's like, how far are you trying to go? Like some celebrities, they get in the game, right? And when they see it's not right, they get out. They don't go that far. That's why you don't hear them like that no more. You know what I'm saying? They might be in a good movie. You don't see them no more. Or they used to be in a lot of TV shows and you don't see them again. You know what I'm saying? They be still alive. They just fell back. They're like, whoa. 
You know what I'm saying? They was making me, they dropped the song too. He's like, damn, I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Again, that's what that beat. You feel me? That's what that beat. You hear me? So, yeah, the elites, you know, the elites not right. And they do that on every level. You know what I'm saying? They did that to Craig Hodges and the Bulls. Go go read the Craig, go check out the Craig Hodges story. He talked about how he was trying to expose something with the bat with the Bulls. You know what I'm saying? It was some shit that happened with Mike and all them on the team, and he was about to expose it, and they they literally kicked that nigga off the team and made up a bullshit reason. You feel me? So, but I appreciate y'all for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? Go sign up to the website, www.theuci.online. Follow me on Instagram at I am Rashad Jamal. Once again, shout out to Influence You Money Mob. You hear me? They got hoodies too. And y'all gonna see me with this shirt on though. It's just it was it was hot. You know what I'm saying? I was heated when I first got on a little bit. I had to get a little zest off me out there. Y'all feel me? Y'all feel me reflections. You know what I'm saying? But I but I love y'all, you know what I'm saying? Uh definitely class start tomorrow at 3 p.m., man. You feel me? So wake up though out there. You hear me? It's real, you know what I'm saying? I got over almost 100, over 100 videos on this channel right now. Go through them, enlighten yourself. Tap in, you know what I'm saying? Understand what you are, what's going on around you, man. Because this matrix is coming down. That's why this these type of videos got to come out, so this matrix can come down. You know what I'm saying? Peace to all the gods and the goddesses of the planet, God. Now we rise, our leave as I come. One.